Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to your very own Baiju's 6th, 7th and 8th grade channel. I'm your teacher Aishwarya and I welcome you to this particular class where we are going to be having a rapid revision of the entire syllabus and we're going to do so and test how much we have studied, how much we remember our concepts and how we are able to solve these questions by solving important and rather all objective NCRT exemplar questions at one go. And mind you, this is going to be a complete science revision that we're going to do today, which means we will kickstart with the biology syllabus and the biology chapters, followed by which we will do physics, and then we will end it with chemistry. So I hope that all of you are excited for this class and very quickly students, please do let me know if my audio, my video and my screen and whatever I'm writing on the screen is visible to all of you. If it is, give me a quick thumbs up to let me know that we are good to go. Yes, I can see many of you are here. Good evening, Brijesh, Rashika, Farha, Mamta, Devlal, Adi, Rohan, Somvir, Shruti. Good evening, uh, Akshat, K-pop stan. I am visible. Awesome. Yes. Hello, Ria. Hello. So I can see that many of you are here. Now, of course, the comments are towards my left side, which is why it looks like I'm looking away from the camera. It just means that my monitor is set up. But most likely, I might be taking your comments from my phone. So good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Anushka, Chaitanya, Samhita. Awesome. So are we all ready? Are we all excited? See, as you know, it is going to be rapid revision, which means jaldi, 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 say you have to give me the answer. Right? And what questions are we going to do? NCRT exemplar. Now, how many of you have seen the NCRT exemplar? How many of you know about that something like NCRT exemplar exists? How many of you know about this particular thing? Be honest with me. Yes, ma'am. I am new. Hello, Elias. Hello. Good evening, Prem. Class 8 final exam. Adesh, all the very best. Yes? Okay, many of you are aware of it, but for those of you who don't know what is NCRT exemplar, this is another publication which is provided by the NCRT. So as you can see here, I'm in the official NCRT website. So you can take the help of your parents to get to this website where you just need to type www.ncrt.com, right, or just search for NCRT. You will get this. Now under this, go to publication. Now under publication, you will find so many things click on exemplar problems. So when you click on this exemplar problem, it will come to this particular site. Now, if your screens are not clear, I request all of you to go to settings, advanced settings and keep it at 1080p, right? Now under this, go to class 7th, you have questions from mathematics and you have questions from science also, right? So which is why today we are going to be looking at all the questions. Now there are some deleted chapters here as well. So let's ignore that. We will stick to our rationalized syllabus. Now students, I have a question for all of you. How many of you have only term 2 syllabus coming in your exam? You have only term 2. That means the last few chapters in biology like forest, reproduction in plants, transportation, respiration. How many of you have term 2 only? Right? Only term 2. Some of you have term 1 syllabus also, some 1 2 chapters. Right? But many of you have only term 2. Okay. So, no ma'am, full book. Okay. Now, I know that many of you have only term 2, while some few students who are here also have chapter 1 and 2, which is why term 2 and chapter 2 of science, I know that. Chapter 1, 2 more or less comes. So, how about we do this? When we do biology, we will do it in reverse, right? So, what do I mean by reverse? It, it means that I'm going to get started from forest, then we will go to reproduction second, then transportation, respiration, nutrition in animals and nutrition in plants. So shall we go ulta? We will go in reverse order. Yes? You are all okay with that? You are all okay, no? We can do ulta. So that your term 2 syllabus gets covered first 
and then we will come back and then we will revise our term one okay no problem if you don't don't think I'm going to ignore the students who have term one syllabus even if you have term one we will cover the chapters we will cover full today but just that priority order wise I'm going to go from the back right yes awesome amazing ma'am full portion koi nahi even if full portion is there we will do it so we will get started with the first chapter which is going to be forest or lifeline how many of you think this chapter is very easy ma'am this chapter is so easy that it it's almost a lame chapter right pretty simple and easy scoring chapter for us right it is a scoring chapter so shall we get started yes okay Jaldi jaldi I need all of you to hit the like button on this video and I need you all to hit the subscribe button on the channel as well in case if you have not studied I mean if you have not subscribed to the channel yet right okay so students we are going to get started those of you who are telling me ma'am it's very tough after you solve the questions you will know how easy it is so can you all see the screen now can you see the screen are the questions visible now it should be little better right questions are visible okay yes no problem if it is not coming also we can quickly solve the questions we'll pick up the pace and solve so question number one everybody on our screen now right so let's have a look at question number one it's okay if chapter 17 is not coming for you. You can still give me the answer. So our sir will come next. Question number one here is, which of the following serves as the green lungs, right? Is it the green pigment of the plant? Is it the forest? Is it kitchen garden or the greenhouse gases? Which is considered to be the green lungs? Can you tell me the answer? This is very simple. Which is called as the lungs of the world. Now if you are giving me the answer as forest. You should also tell me why. Why are they called as green lungs? Yes. We have I think about 40-50 questions from biology itself. But a total of I would say is minimum 100 questions today. So what do we mean by green lungs? What do our lungs do in our body? We know that lungs that are there are what help us with breathing. Right? So we know that we take up the oxygen and we give out the carbon dioxide, right? Now in this particular case, in the case of forests, forests are large areas of land wherein we find trees. And we know that one very important thing that they do is they do photosynthesis. <coughs> but, in <coughs> but in this case, what do they do? In the case of forest, they take up the carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen. And as a result, this oxygen is made available for all the remaining living organisms. Which is why, because they produce oxygen, we call them as the green lungs of the earth. Yes? So, very good students. All of you have given me the correct answer. Super proud. Now, we will go on to question number 2. Yes? Question number 2 on our screens now. Bojo visited a forest near his town with his classmates and his teacher. As they were entering the forest, their class teacher told them not to make noise. As the noise could disturb someone. Who will it disturb? Will it disturb the birds? Will it disturb the animals? Will it disturb the plants? Or, I mean, both birds and animals or the plants. What will it disturb? If the screen is not clear, go to quality. Go to advanced settings, 1080p and the settings will apply, right? You will be able to see. Very good. So the correct answer here is option C. We know that if they make so noise, it can disturb both the plants as well as the animals. Very good. Correct answer. Now let's go on to question number 3. Yes, question number three students, wherein, which among the following forest animals is the smallest? Is it fox, boar, bison or porcupine? What do you think is the answer to this? Yes, very good. I will revise transportation also. 
Now think about it. What are porcupines? Porcupines are these small animals which have spines on their body. Now if you look at a bison or a boar or a fox, they are relatively bigger animals, right? They are bigger in size, which is why in this case, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option D, porcupine. Now if the quality, if the video is not clear, go to settings, right? Click on that settings button, go to quality, under quality, go to advanced, now click on under advanced, click on 1080p, it will apply. So this is when the quality is poor for other students. Very good. Option number three, correct answer is option D. Now let's go on to question number four students on our screen now. Which among the following has the strongest stem? Yes. Which among the following has the strongest stem? A tree, a creeper, a climber or a bush? This should be very, very easy, right? This should be a very simple question. Yes or no? Obvious, right? Exactly. You guys were telling me, ma'am, this is a very tough chapter. But now you realize how easy this chapter is. So easy, right? Which is having the strongest stem? Obviously, a tree. Which is why the correct answer here is going to be option A. Simple. This is Kaju Katli question, Halwa question, whatever you want to call it. Very easy question. Now let's go on to question number 5. Right? So question number 5 students on our screen. Which among the following is not prepared from the wood obtained by the forest? That means if I take the wood, right? So if I take wood, what will I not get from this? Paper, thermocol, mat sticks or plywood? Now I can see many of you here are giving me the correct answers. Very good students. Very, very good. Super proud of all of you. Right? So let me have a quick look. Yes, Mahek. Hello. Very good, Aniket. Very good, Farha. Shruti, Sapna, Gaurav, Adi, Genzi, Johan. Yes, Johan. I will revise every chapter. Don't worry. Aniket, today Kriti Ma'am will only be taking chemistry. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. So with this, all of you, the correct answer is option B. It is thermocol. Because paper, mat stick, plywood, all of this is obtained from wood. But the remaining, if you see thermocol, is something that we don't obtain from wood. Right? So correct answer here is option B. Now let's get started and move on to the next question. So let's have a look at question number 6, 7 and 8 on our screens. So first up, let us solve question number 6. Which among the following is not the name of a tree? Is it teak, sal, porcupine or kachnar? See, in my language, I will say this is a very lullu question, right? Simple, lame question. I will always call this as a lame question because this is common sense for us. I know this is common sense. I mean, how can how can anybody say that our students will not be able to recognize that porcupine is not a name of a tree, but rather it is a name of an animal. Simple, right? So the correct answer here is going to be option C. Easy. Now let's have a look at question number 7. Hmm, interesting. Pick the option which gives the name of a tree and an animal respectively from the following. So this is question number 7. Is it Semal and Hornbill? Is it Sal and Kher? Is it Chinkara and Blue Bull? Or is it Neem and Palash? What is the answer to this particular question? Navya, please don't say I'm ignoring you. Many of us are confused. We are all confused as to what is what at this point. You have to tell me name of tree and animal. Yes, name of tree and animal. Okay. This is where you will make silly mistakes. 
Some are saying A, some are saying C, some are saying B. Guru is telling me, ma'am, you are ignoring me. But I am not ignoring you. But we have so many questions to solve today. We need to be fast, right? Now we are talking about one that has a tree as well as an animal. Now if you look at Sal and Kher, these are two examples of plants. So no, it cannot be B. You have Chinkara and Blue Bill, Blue Bull, which are two examples of animals. So no. Then you have Neem and Palash, again two examples of plants or trees. Hence in this case, what would be the answer? We see that in this particular case, the correct answer is option A. Semal and Hornbill. Semal is actually called as Bombax, which has this beautiful red flower. So you can always have a look at it here. Now if you have doubts, you can ask your doubts simultaneously. But I would request that, see if I am doing chap forest chapter, you ask me doubts related to forest. It will be very difficult if you ask me doubts related to photosynthesis at this point or related to digestive system. So ask me questions, uh, Suman, based on the chapter, I will be taking your doubts simultaneously. Ha ha, we will do subjective questions also, but first we will solve objective. Yes? Okay. Ashi, no ignoring. Bacha, let's get started. Ma'am, it is written class 8, is it? Oh, it is class 7, sorry. It is class 7 students. This is for class 7th. Okay, let's move on everyone. Let's go on to the next one which is question number 8. Question number 8 is which of the products is not obtained from the forest? Honey, catechu, is it gum or ginger? Class will not end. This is for class 7th. Jaldi, jaldi. Oh, Anuradha, I did not, but I did not see that. I'm really sorry. It says class 7 science on the thumbnail, but only title pay there is a mistake. Yes? <laughs> Catechu sounds like Pikachu, right? How many, I mean, if, if you all watch Pokemon and everything, it sounds like a Pokemon. Okay, we are confused with B and D. We don't know what is B, but we don't know what is D. D we know, right? D we know. Yes, no problem, no problem. Some of you joined late thinking it was for class 8. It's okay, it's for class 7, right? See, what is ginger? Ginger, as we know, is a modified stem, right? It is a modified stem, which we don't really get from a forest. Rather, if you see, we can naturally find it growing and normally we grow it and grow it by, you know, maybe doing agriculture or horticulture, which is why ginger is something we don't get from the forest. Now, catechu here is actually with respect to a specific tree called as the acacia tree. So it is, it is a kind of product that we get from the acacia tree, which is why if you see in this particular case, ginger is the correct answer. Yes. Oh, okay. This class 8 is already done, right? Class 8 is already done, students. So, you can have a look, right? Question on crown, canopy, understory is all coming. Just give me one moment. Okay. I will take that question now for all of you who have a doubt in that. Question number 9, second last question from the chapter. The branchy part above the stem is known as dash. The crown, the canopy, saplings or is it the, <clears throat> the humus, right? We're talking about in the tree, at the top part, we observe branching, right? As a result, in forest, most trees show this. What do we call it? Is it a canopy? We are confused with what is a canopy and we are confused with what is a crown. So see, the branchy part that you see, right? We are talking about an individual tree, right? Now we are talking about an individual tree where on the top, so if this is my branch, on the top I see these branches, right? So this acts like the crown of the tree, which is why the correct answer here is going to be option A. 
but because these crowns are present many such trees right what do you see many such trees that are there end up forming the canopy layer right so we see that they form the canopy layer which acts as a roof of sorts right so we call it as the canopy layer now what is the understory understory is the layer beneath the canopy where we find the shorter plants or the shorter trees then we have the forest floor so what is an understory understory is the layer or the region that we find beneath the canopy so are we all clear with this are we all clear with the answer i hope we are because we're going to move on to the last question which is question number 10 forests are not responsible for what they are not responsible for providing medicinal plants are they not responsible for maintaining the flow of water into streams they are not responsible for creating flood or absorbing rain water and maintaining the water table what is not the job of the forest yes next we will do reproduction next chapter we are going to be doing reproduction in plants yes see what do i get from the forest i get medicinal plants from the forest i know that my forests are responsible for maintaining the water cycle and absorbing the rain water and making sure that the ground water is refilled right but is it the job of the forest to create a flood no right it is not the job of a forest but rather if you cut trees down then eventually it can cause flood conditions so the correct answer here is going to be option c now quickly to revise the previous question of what is a crown see in the case of trees we see that they have very tall stem and their stems are very thick and we call it as a trunk so what happens if this right here is the tree we see that it is very tall and on top we see there is branching so it sits like the crown that is found so in a king if you see if i am a queen and i put a crown the crown will be pointy on top which is why because the branching is seen on the top regions we call this as a crown right but when many trees when many tall trees especially come together in a forest they are all close by they almost form a roof right they form a roof we call that as a canopy layer which is why when you walk in the forest you see that when the forests or when the trees are very dense or when there are lot of leaves and branching you don't get a lot of sunlight directly yes because we see that it's acting as a roof and the layer beneath it not all trees are very tall some are little shorter and we see branching they form the understory yes okay so with this all of you we are done with forest chapter so yay to us now we will go on to the next one which is reproduction in plants so let me quickly change it and increase oops that became too zoomed in okay can we see the screen students can you all see the screen ma'am in ginger see bachcha ginger is not something we naturally get per se in the forest right it's normally grown in horticulture or practiced in that manner which is why the correct answer there is ginger yes viji you get this in the ncert website okay you get it in the ncert website santosh is telling ma'am fake video how is this fake i am real i am talking to all of you how is this fake please tell me screen is visible awesome now students reproduction chapter as we know is very very important also i get a lot of unnecessary questions in this chapter which is why in this particular case we will get started and we will move on to the first question so everyone first question on our screens now so question number 1 here is which are the following parts of a plant take place in sexual reproduction don't jump to give me the answer as flower because the options are here you have flower seed fruit branch choose the correct answer from below this is a classic example of how we are in a hurry to give me the answer yes we are in a hurry now what is sexual reproduction in plants sexual reproduction is when we have two parents right so we see that there are two parents which are involved so we have a male part and a female part now where do i find this male and female part i find it in the flower 
now we know that over a period of time we know that it eventually we know that um, <clears throat> the ovary that is there will ripen into the fruit and the seed has the embryo so based on this what would be the answer exactly the correct answer is option b where flower seed and fruit are different parts which are involved in let's say sexual reproduction so are we clear very good it is not only flower and seed it is also the fruit because the fruit consists of the seed yes now let's have a look at question number two question number two here is Lila observed that a pond with clear water was covered up with green algae within a week. By which method of reproduction did the algae reproduce rapidly? So can you all tell me, is it budding, sexual reproduction, fragmentation or pollination? Yes? <coughs> easy so when we talk about reproduction in algae so here we know that one type of green algae oops i went out of the frame one type of green algae that we see is spirogyra right and what kind of reproduction happens if there is a parent algae it will split into multiple fragments right and each fragment will grow into a new organism so the correct answer is option c very good i will give you give you all three stars for this yes super pro now let's move on to question number three students on our screens now question number three question number three is seeds of drumstick and maple right uh, seeds of drumstick and maple are carried to long distances by wind because they possess what they produce possess winged seeds large hairy seeds long ridged fruits or is it spiny seeds now in the meanwhile for all of you who are telling me they are facing issues go to the settings button right click on quality go under quality click advanced under advanced press 1080p you should be able to see it clearly very good see what is your keyword your keyword here forget drumstick you have maple right now maple is the easiest example which is an example that has winged seeds and one more keyword okay forget if you didn't know what maple had right you didn't know what type of seed is there in maple then remember it with respect to what is helping in seed dispersal right what is helping in seed dispersal it is transported seeds are transported long distances by the wind so if they have to be transported by wind it needs to be lightweight it needs to have wings so that it can be transported easily which is why option a is the correct answer ridged means that how do i explain rich um okay have you seen your pen right you guys have seen your pen okay you see that this is a pen that is there there is a space in between which you can insert right and put it in your pocket that's a easy example of let's say a ridge being there right i'm giving you a basic example okay very good students very good Dev devla lalogamy is a type of pollination right where there is transfer of uh, pollen from anther to stigma between two different flowers yes okay so many of you who are new to my class i welcome all of you beautiful students that you've come to my class today very very happy to see you here now many of you who are new and you might be asking me to teach in hindi it's just that i know hindi but when i teach in hindi it's not very efficient right you might understand but later you will tell are ma'am aap to you teach in english only it is much better hindi mein bol sakti hu but padhane mein thoda dikkat aata hai aur dikkat aata hai right my grammar and all is very messed up so please don't mind we'll stick to english yes okay moving on everyone moving on let's go on to question number 4 right question number 4 the eye right 
the eyes of the potato plant is what is the root to any plant the bud is to a flower the bud is to bryophyllum leaf or anther to stigma now this is with respect to vegetative propagation have we all studied vegetative propagation did we all revise vegetative propagation yes did we all revise vegetative propagation yes or no if we have we know that vegetative propagation is a method by which we use the vegetative parts like the root the stem and the leaf in order right in order to grow a new plant now students who are coming to this class who may have not revised the chapters because see today i am not teaching you anything we are only solving questions which is why archana and many others in case you have not studied the chapters and then you are coming to this class this class will be difficult which is why one thing i would say is you can leave this class right now study the chapter then come back and try to solve it with me it will become easy right okay so archana singh please try that out study and come back should be easy now we know that potato that is there is a modified dash is potato a modified stem or is potato a modified root yes okay archana come back and watch it later and let me know in the comments if you found these questions helpful satvik if you are enjoying the class subscribe kar lo very good very good it is a modified stem right so because if it's a modified stem on the surface we know that there are parts of the stem where new there are <clears throat> so in a normal stem right so in a normal stem there is a point from which a new plant or a new leaf or a new bud arises and we call that as a node so from the nodal region we see that there are buds which will arise and what will happen these buds are called as the eyes right we call these as the eye of the potato and what will happen this will eventually grow into a new plant so similarly if you see the eye of the potato plant is what is the bud in the bryophyllum leaf because if you look at the bryophyllum leaf in the notches of the leaf or in the corners in the leaf the new buds will arise which will eventually grow into new bryophyllum plants so the correct answer here is option c now sweet potato students there is normal potato and there is sweet potato remember the difference normal potato that we eat let's say nalu paratha and all of that that is a modified stem sweet potato which we normally use in sandwiches and all of that this is a modified root so remember the difference yes megali you can ask me your doubts you can ask me your doubts hello alisha hello okay yes you can go for prayer and come back ahmed no problem but i might have i will not be able to stop the class you can watch it okay no problem talha no problem okay no issues shreya if it goes wrong no issues ah uh, no issues many of you are late so it's okay um go back and watch it from the beginning spore formation i will explain i think i have a question on that so i'll explain it with the help of the question if not once i finish off the questions i will do it ma'am what does propagation mean amir propagation means to grow students who have not understood this concept right many of you are saying ma'am question did not understand khushi bajaj and many others who did not understand this question that means that vegetative propagation mein thoda doubt hai abhi abhi still we have not understood the concept so what is vegetative propagation where you use the vegetative parts now in the case of <clears throat> sweet potato we see that sweet potato is a plant where the roots are modified to store food which is why the sweet potato will look something like this right it will be long and pinkish similarly the potato that we eat is actually the stem which gets modified for storage because it has stem it has nodes on them from which we see that there will be these whitish color things that will grow if we let it be for a long period of time right okay we will do respiration we will do respiration also so i hope now khushi we are clear in case if you are not sure you can 
what's the video on vegetative propagation and students asking about bryophyllum leaf right see what is bryophyllum leaf it is a type of leaf it's a kind of plant that we find where from the leaf margin right so from the leaf margin uh, just one minute students 2002 students just give me one minute Okay, sorry about that, right? Really sorry. So in this particular case, what do we see? We see that we have the bryophyllum leaf here, right? So in the notches, right? In the notches or in the margins, we will find new plants that will grow. Yes? Okay. Yes, one common thing is we boil and we eat it. Yes, that is true. Now let's get started. Let's go on to question number five, everyone, on our screens now. The ovary is different ovaries of different flowers may contain what right may contain only one ovule will contain many ovules will contain one too many ovules or it will have only two ovules what is the answer yes what is the answer to this Saurabh sir will come but first we'll finish see if you give me the answers for bio fast Saurabh sir will come really fast yes I know then you'll say, ma'am, you don't make jokes like Saurabh sir, you're very serious. I know you'll say, but it's okay. Because see, Saurabh sir is funny. And I agree with all of you. Very good. I am not angry. Who is this? Asya, I'm not angry with you. See, students, you don't say that, you know, um, I'm angry with all of you and all my face looks little serious. That's all. That's just my face. Okay, Mega, I will get your I'll get to your question. So very good students. Correct answer is option C. How can it be that there is only one ovule? Or there will always be many ovules, or there will only be two ovules, right? There can be one ovule in some plants, or there can be many ovules in many plants. Yes? Ma'am, explain difference between uh... Okay. See, Spirogyra that is there, right? Spirogyra that is there is basically an algae. While asparagus that is there is actually a kind of plant. So again, they are very, very different from each other because Spirogyra is an algae. What is the difference? Uh, seed dispersal, Ritvika, seed dispersal is mainly when we see that there is... So if this is a parent plant, it is producing fruits. And we know that seeds are produced for reproduction, right? So seed dispersal is a method by which seeds are transported far away from the parent plant so that they can grow and they can spread out, right? Okay. Now let's go on to question number six students on our screens. This chapter, mein toh, you guys have a lot of doubts. Okay. Which of the following statements is or are true for sexual reproduction? Plants are obtained from seeds. Two plants are always essential. Fertilization can occur only after pollination. Or insects are agents of pollination. Navya, I will explain. St um, I will explain. Don't worry. Chandru, if you have a doubt, let me know. What is the answer to this? Okay, Saurabh sir is here, he'll come, don't worry, he'll come. Plants are, so what is true for sexual reproduction? We know that in sexual reproduction, we know that reproduction here happens with the help of a male part and a female part. They come together to produce a zygote. That zygote will eventually develop into, that zygote will eventually develop into an embryo, right? Now in this particular case, what do we see? Plants are obtained from the seeds. Yes, this statement is true. Do plants are always essential? No, not really. It can be that there is one plant which has a flower, right? So we see that there is one plant which has a flower, which has both the male part and the female part. And if that is the case, we don't need two plants. One plant is also enough, right? So option two is not correct. Fertilization, that is fusion of male and female gamete. Fusion of male and female gamete will happen 
only after pollination yes the statement is true insects are the only agents no we know birds wind water they are all agents right which is why in this case what do we see 1 and 3 is correct so the correct answer here is option a right correct answer is option a not 2 and 3 but it is 1 and 3 now many students who are asking me ex eighth ka exemplar ho gaya last week itself now i like to take this minute to explain spore formation right many of you are finding difficulty in spore formation now how many of you have seen that when you keep bread or maybe some fruits open for a long period of time there is this one blackish thing that will start to grow in the corners which will look cottony right it will look it look like some cotton is stuck on it right how many of us have seen this we have all seen this yes yeah, yeah, one piece is real, okay, but exams are also real. So pay attention. Cotton candy, exactly, it looks like black cotton candy, right? So what is growing right here? It is an organism called as a fungi. And the type of organism that you see right here, or rather what do you say, the type of um, organism here is what we call as rhizopus. So if you look at it under the microscope, we see that it will look something like this. Yes, it will look something like this. Where are these thread-like structures? So we find these thread-like structures and there is one part of it which will grow upwards and it will look like one balloon. And inside this balloon, we see that there are many small powdery substances. Now these powdery substances are what we call as spores and the balloon which stores this powdery substance is called as a sporangium, right? So what happens? These spores are like seeds for plant. So when the sporangium bursts open, when the balloon bursts open, what will happen? We see that in this particular case, the sporangium has burst open. So all the seeds will fall down. So when all the seeds fall down and they fall onto, let's say, a, let's say they fall on bread and there's some amount of water also available for them. So when they have good amount of moisture and proper favorable conditions, they will grow into new fungi. So this is what we mean as spore and this is what we understand as spore formation. Yes, very good. Exactly. Okay. Now let's go on to question number seven students. I hope now we are clear with spore formation. Uh, Manvi fungi is mainly multicellular. Yeast is a unicellular fungi. Yes. Okay. Sporulation is slightly different, which I will explain, okay? But first, this question we will do. Question number seven. Pollination refers to what? Four options from which you need to tell me which is the correct answer. What is the correct answer here? Okay, very good, very good. Transfer of pollen from anther to ovary, okay. Transfer of pollen from male gamete to anther, no. Transfer of pollen from anther to stigma, transfer of pollen from anther to ovule. Absolutely not. What is the correct answer? Correct answer is option C, which is the transfer of pollen from anther to stigma. Okay, now many of you who is asking me about sporulation, sporulation is slightly different process. It is a type of asexual reproduction that takes place in lower organisms, not stay same as spore formation, okay? <clears throat> so with this everyone, we are done with this chapter, ripened ovary is the fruit, ripened ovule or developed ovule rather I would say is what forms the seed yes okay so with this everyone we are done seven out of seven questions complete yes seven out of seven questions complete and three stars for all of you now we will move on to one of our favorite chapters which is transportation in plants and animals right now this chapter right here sometimes can scare us a little bit. Sometimes we feel, are ma'am, this is the easiest chapter ever. So I am sure that all of you have mixed feelings about this chapter. 
बट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर एक्साइटेड यस एन एस ओ के लिए आई वुड रिकमेंड ऑल एम टी जी बुक्स वर्क बुक द प्रैक्टिस पेपर्स ऑल ऑफ दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रैक्टिस डाउनलोड द बाई जूज एप एज वेल बिकॉज इफ यू सी वी हैव एन एक्सक्लूसिव ओलम्पियाज सेक्शन वेर एन यू विल बी एबल टू गेट एक्सक्लूसिव प्रैक्टिस फॉर एन एस ओ सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द बाई जूज एप एज वेल बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर अवेलेबल देर एज वेल यस ओके Let's get started, everyone. If you've not downloaded the app, the link to the app is available in the description. You can go check it out as well. A lot of premium features are available on the Byju's app, which I'm sure is exclusively available for all of you. You can definitely check that. Yes. Okay. So let's get started, everybody. Let's move on to question number one. Right. Question number one is the muscular tube. through which stored urine is passed out from the human body is called as dash right is it kidney ureter urethra or urinary bladder yes okay so now of course when we look at the excretory system we know that urine is produced in the kidneys then it is transported by the ureter then it is taken to the bladder right so we see that here in the urinary bladder it is stored for a brief period of time yes and the tube through which stored urine is passed out is nothing but urethra so what is the correct answer very good the correct answer here is option c well done now let's move on to the next question which is question number 2 so question number 2 here is they are pipe like structures made of specialized cells they help in transporting substances and form a two way traffic in plants which of the following terms quali qualify for the features mentioned above dakshesh why do you care if navya singh has a boyfriend or no you should be paying attention in class right see urethra and urinary opening normally we don't call it as a urinary opening but if at all if somebody refers to it it's more or less the same right nephrons amir are structures present inside the kidney which actually produces the urine yes okay so we have confusion between b c and d but many of you are telling me d okay very good for those of you who have given me the answer as d the correct answer here is option d phloem tissue it is not vascular tissue now why is it not vascular tissue because they are saying that this includes pipe like structures that form a two way traffic that means it can transport to the upper parts of the plant as well as the lower parts now can both xylem and phloem transport in the upper part and the lower part no xylem tissue is unidirectional or we say it is one way traffic right so we call it as one way traffic so it cannot be xylem neither can it be vascular system right flow root hair not the case because it helps in absorption of water which is why what do you see the correct answer is option d phloem मैम हाइड्रा एंड फर्न्स में स्पोर फॉर्मेशन होगा नहीं चैतन्य इन फर्न्स in ferns you find spore formation in hydra reproduction is through budding it is different next is physics all physics doubts you can ask sorab sir ma'am vascular system and vascular tissue are same or different it is the same not different okay what is transpirational pull i have a question on that we i will explain it then the absorption of nutrients and exchange of respiratory gases takes place between blood and tissue or blood and cells where is it the veins the arteries the heart or the capillaries sst hoga jaldi se ankita mam is not keeping well right so as mam's health becomes better and better we will be able to take classes urea is basically the nitrogenous excretory waste material that is produced in our body that we need to get rid of it right mam sponge meaning sponges are kind of animals that we find under water right so their body appears like a sponge they have various pores or pores or holes present in them so we commonly call it as a sponge 
Ammonia nitrogen is waste material excreted by fishes. Okay. So with this everybody, the correct answer is option D, capillaries. What is the job of the heart? The heart is a pump, right? So heart is a pump that is responsible for pumping the blood. Now we know that there are blood vessels which transport the blood away from the heart, which are called as arteries. Now the arteries as they reach closer and closer to cells and tissue, they will branch out and eventually form thin wall structures called as capillaries. And at the capillaries, we see that exchange of carbon dioxide and uh, oxygen, absorption of nutrients, all of this takes place, right? Which is why the correct answer is option D. Ma'am, do we excrete ammonia? We primarily excrete urea, not ammonia, okay? Let's get started everybody with question number 4. Question number 4 on our screens now. In which of the following parts of our human body are sweat glands absent? Uh, in our scalp, in our armpits, in our lips or palm? What is deforestation? Shruti, deforestation is the removal or cutting down large number of trees from a forest. Hence, deforestation, removal of forest cover. Very good. Correct answer is option C, which is lips. Because we profuse, we sweat a lot, especially in our armpit region. We have sometimes people are having sweaty palms. Or in some cases, even in the scalp, it is available. I mean, we sweat, right? I think kid, I forgot your username. But you are asking me about genetic biodiversity. I think that's an 8th grade question, but I will answer anyway. Genetic biodiversity refers to the variety of living organisms, right? Biodiversity is variety of living organisms. And even at a genetic level, if we were to... So if you see that there are so many different living organisms, it is because at a genetic level, we are all different from each other, right? We find some drastic differences, hence which we call as genetic biodiversity. What is osmosis? Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. Yes? Scalp means this part, the layer of skin that covers the head. Right? Okay. Now let's go on everyone to our next question, question number 5. This is the question which I will explain. In a tall tree, there is a force which is responsible for pulling water and minerals from the soil. What do we call this? Is it gravitational force, transportation force, suction force or conduction force? Menti nahi hoga aaj. So sorry for that. Students, if you've not hit the like button on this video, fata fat, go and like this video. And make sure that you share this video with all of your friends. See, I should have minimum 200 likes before Saurabh sir comes, right? So our target for today is to hit 200 likes. Your seniors will reach 200 likes like this. Why are you taking so long? So jaldi, jaldi, jaldi say you hit the like button. Okay. So let's move on to in a tall tree, right? So in a tall tree, which force is responsible for pulling the water? So in this particular case, what do we see in tall trees when we have this, right? So we know that in trees, they lose water from the aerial parts, right? So we know that excess of water. So excess of water is lost from the aerial parts through the process called as transpiration. So we can say that this right here is kind of like an evaporation of water, right? So in this case, what will happen? When there is loss of water, it creates a vacuum or a suction force, right? Which we call as transpiration pull or suction force. So the correct answer here is going to be option C. Yes? Now let's go on to question number 6, which is the last question. Aquatic animals like fishes excrete their waste in gaseous form known as dash. Oxygen, hydrogen, ammonia or nitrogen. Ma'am, is it suction force or suction pull? Both are same. Trilogen, what is zygote? Single cell structure formed by reproductive cells. These reproductive cells are called as gametes. Yes? 
एग्जाम्पलर प्रॉब्लम आर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे विल आस्क यू इन दी एग्जामिनेशन कहा मिलता है एनसीआर के साइट में वेरी गुड so with this all of you correct answer is option C ammonia right so they exist excreted in gaseous form because fishes are found under water and when they excrete out this ammonia this ammonia will easily dissolve in water which is why correct answer is option C but now we are following NCRT only right this is very important root pressure is the pressure created at the root level right so again it's due to created due to osmotic difference wherein by, as a result of which water is absorbed okay building is when there's not enough water and the plant droops yes janvi if your school follows cbsc syllabus these questions will be helpful okay so with this all of you we are done with this chapter 6 out of 6 in this particular chapter so hurray all of you hurray very very proud now let's go on to the next chapter which is respiration in organisms जल्दी जल्दी फटाफट डोंट यू वॉन्ट सॉरब सर टू कम सून यू वॉन्ट सॉरब सर टू कम सून यू वॉन्ट डिस्कस लॉर्ड ऑफ फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन देन यू नीड टू डू केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन कृति मैम विल ऑल्सो कम राइट सो जल्दी जल्दी स्टूडेंट वी विल पिक अप द पेस राइट वी आर गोइंग टू पिक अप द पेस ओके मैम दैट इज डिलीटेड चैप्टर दिस इज नॉट डिलीटेड दिस इज देयर इन योर सिलेबस Ma'am, this is for class students. Many of you are asking me class eight doubts because the title says class eight, but this is for class seventh. Yes. Okay. Two more chapters. Ye jaldi ho jayega. Done, done. We'll be very fast now. Now rapid revision only. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Most awaited chapter. Yes. Now first question, all of you on our screens. Sometimes when we do a lot of heavy exercise, anaerobic respiration takes place inside our muscle cells. What is produced during this process? Alcohol, lactic acid, alcohol and carbon dioxide, lactic acid and carbon dioxide, or lactic acid only. Yes. Yashu, are you from grade seven or grade eight? Yashu, who is asking me question on embryo versus zygote? Are you from class seventh or class eighth? because i realized that many class 8 students are here who are asking me class 8 doubt agar if you are in class 8 and you have doubts let me know in the comments of this video i will take your doubts in the comments now i will have to help my class 7 students right okay yashu i will take your doubt once we finish this chapter okay i will take that doubt simple anaerobic respiration in our muscle cells right so in our muscle cells what will happen we know that glucose is incompletely broken down and it will form lactic acid right but when lactic acid is produced can alcohol be produced no alcohol and carbon dioxide production is seen as a result of anaerobic respiration in yeast not in muscle cells can lactic acid and carbon dioxide be produced no which is why the correct answer is option d which is lactic acid only it cannot be alcohol and lactic acid only lactic acid is produced and when lactic acid gets accumulated in our body what will it cause lactic acid accumulation will cause dash what will it cause sweat glands deepamala present underneath our skin sweat glands are found all over okay very good we see that this causes cramps very good it causes muscular cramps right so when anaerobic respiration takes place in our body in our muscle cells we see that the by product that is produced is lactic acid only yes okay now we will go on to the next one now i have already given you the answer to this so you should tell me yeast is used in the preparation of wine and beer industry because it respires how it respires aerobically producing oxygen and aerobically producing alcohol i mean aerobically producing alcohol and aerobically producing alcohol or anaerobic anaerobically producing carbon dioxide ma'am write definition of respiration very good students very very good i can see the answers okay ritvika i think it is already done in the channel ankita mam has taken it 
so i will upload a video for chapter under 30 minutes for the cha that particular chapter very good correct answer is option c and aniket you are right see i agree now in yeast what did i tell you anaerobic respiration takes play takes place where glucose is broken down into alcohol right alcohol and gives out carbon dioxide as a by product or a waste product but in wine and beer industry what is our main what do you say why are we using the yeast in order to produce alcohol not to get the carbon dioxide which is why we see that the correct answer is option c anaerobically to get alcohol we don't want the anaerobic respiration of yeast only because it gives us carbon dioxide we are using the anaerobic respiration of yeast to get the alcohol so correct answer is option c now let's go on to the next question which is question number 3 oh good question on breathing mechanism during the process of exhalation the ribs move how it moves down and inwards up and inwards down and outwards or up and downwards arnav if it is not there also it is okay you can still give me the answer jaldi jaldi students in the meanwhile as you give me the answer hit the like button as well we need 200 likes before sarv sir comes in okay so now we are talking about the rib cage right so the rib cage is going to look something like this don't mind the rib cage that i'm drawing it's a very ugly rib cage right so now in the case of exhalation right so when we exhale what happens we know that the muscular diaphragm during inhalation what happens during inhalation the diaphragm moves downwards the rib cage moves up and outwards right so during inhalation it moves up and outwards so in all these three cases anything which says up or out is during inhalation while during exhalation what do we see during exhalation the reverse happens where the rib cage will move inwards and slightly downwards and the muscular diaphragm goes back in position which is why the correct answer here is option a that it moves down and inwards right so do so when you exhale it's going inwards simple now let's go on to question number 4 breathing is a process by which that provides oxygen to the body that breaks down food in order to release energy helps the body get rid of carbon dioxide or produces water in the cells yes what is the answer to this rashi a little bit because i finished like three chapters so we know that breathing is a physical process right so breathing is a physical process which means that breakdown of food to release energy will not happen this is respiration yes it will produce water inside the cells absolutely not so what is the correct answer it helps to provide oxygen to the body and helps get rid of carbon dioxide so what is the correct answer 1 and 3 so in this case the correct answer is going to be option c yes correct answer here is option c now aniket quickly aerobic versus anaerobic right aerobic and anaerobic now aerobic respiration we see that oxygen it takes place in the presence of oxygen while here it takes place in the absence or temporary deficiency of oxygen now here we see that there is complete breakdown of glucose while in anaerobic we see that there is only partial breakdown right so we see that there is only partial breakdown of glucose now we see that the energy that gets released during anaerobic is very high while during anaerobic it is relatively very less which is why these are the broad two differences between aerobic and anaerobic now let's go on to our next question question number 5 students fishes breathe with the help of gills that are richly supplied with blood vessels the gills help the fish to take oxygen from the air or do they help them take it from the dissolved water to absorb nutrients which are present in the water or to release waste substances in water chemistry is pending we are still in biology i think 15 more minutes and we should wind this up fishes are found under water 
so they cannot take oxygen from the air can they absorb nutrients in order to breathe no which is why correct answer here is option b right they take up oxygen dissolved in water now question number 6 students which is earthworms and frogs breathe through their skin because of which the skin of both organisms is dash it's moist and rough dry and rough dry and slimy or moist and slimy what is the answer earthworms and frogs are able to breathe through their skin because of dash because their skin is moist and slimy very good so with this all of you we are done with questions from respiration and organisms i hope we are feeling a little more confident yes are we feeling little more confident about this chapter ki ma'am i will be able to solve when such questions come my way right we are feeling confident okay now with this shall we maybe keep 10 minutes of time and we can wind up the remaining two chapters yes Do you think ten minutes may rapid fire we can finish two chapters? Yes or no? Are you ready for the challenge? Nutrition in plants, nutrition in animals. Very simple, easy chapters. Ten minute may ham khatam karenge and I will call Saurabh sir after this, right? Then I will take your doubts. Yashu, I promise you difference between zygote and embryo. So zygote is a single cell structure formed after fertilization. Now, when this zygote will develop, it will form an embryo, which is multicellular. So that is the difference between zygote and embryo. What is ATP? ATP is the energy currency of the cell, right? Which stands for adenosine triphosphate. Okay. Now we have a countdown. I'm going to set a timer on my phone. Ten minutes. We are going to solve two chapters, right? So let's get started, everybody, with nutrition in animals. and our time for this chapter starts as soon as i set the screen right because i need 1 minute to set the screen so please don't mind but jaldi jaldi i need the chat to be flooding with answers by now you can see one of the question right okay question number 1 on our screens now it's okay if it is not coming in your exams you can still give me the answer i am starting the timer for 10 seconds right 10 minutes timer has started khushi it's okay give me the answer no matter what given below are some food items boiled and mashed potato glucose solution slice of bread mustard oil which among the following will give me a blue black color when tested for iodine yes time management what is the answer to this boiled and mashed potato potato see for blue black color to come with iodine iodine has to react with what it has to react with starch so in this particular case what do we see we see that boiled mashed potato and a slice of bread are rich sources of starch mustard oil is a source of fat glucose solution is a type of carbohydrate but it is not starch so when it reacts it will not give the blue black color which is why 1 and 3 is the answer and correct answer is option b now next up we have question number 2 right we are on rapid fire rapid fire abhi so now question number 2 which of the following pair of teeth differ in structure but are similar in function canine and incisor molar premolar incisor molar or premolar and canine rashi why not glucose because blue black solution will iodine will only form that blue black color with starch glucose is a different type of carbohydrate so it will not form Very good, Ritvika, Kushi, Shruti, Karthik, Suhu, Gauri, Sweet Rose, Dhruv, Kuldeep, awesome. Molars and premolars. They differ in their structure, but both of them help us with help us with chewing and grinding. Now, question number three. Read the statement carefully and tell me which combination of organs do not carry out any digestive functions. That means here they will not help me with the breakdown. of complex substances into simple forms right or simple soluble forms which is not going to help me where so you see where will digestion not happen that is what you need to look at very good look at option b there is buccal cavity that means mouth in the mouth digestion of starch happens 
Again, that means option B cannot be the answer, C cannot be the answer. Now you have D, small intestine. Here also you see digestion of substances takes place, which is why what will be the answer? The answer is going to be A, where it is esophagus, large intestine and rectum. Now in esophagus, large intestine and rectum, do you think that we are going to be having breakdown of substances? No, right? We are not going to be having any breakdown of substances. Now here in esophagus, there is transport, right? We see that food will move down. It's a food pipe. So from mouth, it will reach to stomach. Large intestine, there is reabsorption of water. Rectum is where the food is, the undigested food is um, briefly stored. Which is why we see that correct answer is option A. Ma'am, how digestion happens in buccal cavity? In our buccal cavity, which is the mouth, we have saliva which is produced, right? Saliva has salivary amylase, yes or no? Now what will salivary amylase do? Salivary amylase will break down starch into simpler sugars, yes? Ma'am, alimentary canal is whole digestive tract or only esophagus? Whole digestive tract. Um, can you send me the question in the comments of this video? I will explain it. Question number four, four students on your screen. We have six minutes left. The swallowed food moves downwards in the alimentary canal because of dash. Force provided by the muscular tongue, flow of water taken with the food, gravitational pull or contraction of muscles in the wall of the food pipe. Rectum part of large intestine which stores the undigested food that is there or the feces. Abomasum is a part of the stomach in the... In... In your cows and everything, right? In your ruminants. Very good. Correct answer is option D, right? Which is also known as peristalsis. That is a contraction and relaxation of the wall of the food pipe. Next up. The stomach acid that is there, present in our stomach, kills harmful bacteria that may enter along with the food, protects the stomach lining from harmful substances, digests starch into simpler sugars, makes the medium alkaline. What is the answer? Jaldi, jaldi, jaldi. Yes, you've got this. Very good. See, stomach acid, right? So what is the meaning of acid? We know that in this particular case, when you look at it, we see that it does not make the medium alkaline. It makes it acidic. Does it help in digestion? No. Does it protect stomach lining? No. The mucus protects the stomach lining from the acid. So the correct answer is option A, which protects the, which gets rid of harmful substances that may enter along with the food, right? Now question number 6 students on our screen now. So there are these finger-like outgrowths. Somebody was asking me ma'am what are pseudopodia? Pseudopodia are the finger-like outgrowths which act as false feet in the amoeba that help to ingest food. However, in our small intestine, we also have these finger-like projections. What do these finger-like projections help us? Do they help us in digesting fatty food? They make the food soluble? They absorb the digested food? Or they absorb the undigested food? Yes? Thank you, Floric. Thank you so much. Ma'am, hydrochloric acid is produced where? It is produced by some specialized cells in the stomach. Uh, uh, Ayana, hope we are clear. Very good. What is the function of villi? Villi helps in absorbing the digested food. Now let's go on to question number 7. Question number 7 is 4 statements are given with respect to villi of small intestine. Identify the statements which will tell us or enable the fact that villi is able to absorb digested food. Students who have a doubt regarding um, digestion or nutrition in amoeba, I have made a short video on the channel. So you can go to the video section, search for digestion in amoeba or nutrition in amoeba. You will find my video and it's a rough 5 minute video. You can watch that. So you'll be able to learn it. Yes, many of you have seen those videos. I've made small concept videos for all of you. So you'll be able to learn. Now, in this particular case, we know that villi that are there have thin walls. They have a network of small, they have a network of blood vessels and they are finger-like projections, right? So in this particular case, 1, 2 and 4 are correct about villi that help with the absorption. So the correct answer is option A, right? Watch that video after you finish this. 
Now question number 8 and 9 students on our screen. The false feet of amoeba. Right? The false feet in amoeba. Help the amoeba do what? Move only. Capture food. Help in capturing food and moving. Or does it help with exchange of gases? Yes, I am a South Indian. Uh, what is ATP? Rashi adenosine triphosphate which is the energy currency. Okay, very good. So we see that they help in capturing the food and help in movement also. Next up, enzymes present in saliva which is our salivary amylase, right? So this is our salivary amylase. What does this help us in? Convert fat into fatty acid and glycerol. Convert starch into simple sugars. Convert protein into amino acid or complex sugar into simple sugars. Okay. Awesome. Correct answer is option B. I just explained this to you, right? So we know that starch into simple sugars is something that the salivary amylase converts into, right? So the correct answer is option B, yes? Thank you so much students for all the love coming my way where you are able to understand the way I teach. Thank you so much. I will take all your love and doubts, but we have a timeline. So jaldi jaldi say we will go on. Oh wait, I think there are more questions. Got excited and went to the next chapter. Whoa, we have four more. We will not finish in 10 minutes, but it's okay. Next up, cut is the name given to food of ruminants, which is dash. Swallowed and undigested, swallowed and partially digested, properly chewed and partially digested, properly chewed and completely digested. Seher, this is for class 7. Okay. Very good. So we know that cud formation takes place when the food is only partially. So they don't chew it properly. So you cannot say that it is properly chewed. But it is partially chewed and then it is swallowed. And then it is partially digested and regurgitated. Or sent back into the mouth for further digestion. So the correct answer is option B. Now question number 11. Choose the correct order of terms that describe the process of nutrition in ruminants. What is the correct one? Swallowing, partial digestion, chewing of cud, complete digestion. Okay. Now we know that chewing of cud, swallowing, partial digestion. No, it cannot be option B. Chewing of cud cannot be the first thing. Swallowing, chewing and mixing, then partial digestion. No. So we know correct answer is option A, right? Swallowing, partial digestion, right? Then we know that it comes back into the mouth for chewing of cut. Then it goes back for complete digestion. So correct answer is option A. Now let's have a look at the last question. I realize I finished one chapter in 10 minutes, but it is okay. Cellulose rich food substances are good sources of roughage in human beings because of DASH, right? Human beings do not have cellulose digesting enzymes. Cellulose, cellulose can be absorbed into the human blood. Cellulose digesting bacteria convert cellulose into fiber or cellulose breaks down into smaller components. Yes, Akanksha, you can ask me your doubt. Saurabh sir is waiting. He'll say, he'll come soon. Fructose, so who is a type of carbohydrate? So just like how you have glucose, you have fructose, you have galactose, lactose, right? These are all uh, different types of carbohydrates that you see. Simple carbohydrates. Very good. So the correct answer is option A. Human beings do not have cellulose digesting enzymes, right? Which is why they are a good source of roughage. Ma'am, why we don't excrete ammonia? See, in order to excrete ammonia from the body, we require large amounts of water. Now you imagine ammonia is pretty toxic. And to excrete ammonia out of our body, we require large amounts which is not possible. Which is why our body converts it into urea or uric acid and then we expel it out. Yes? So I hope I have answered your doubt. Now we will go to the final chapter. Right? So here we have all got 12 out of 12. 12. Sending you lots of hearts just one day before Valentine's Day. But lots of hearts for all of you. I will be coming to class 10th as well. I'm coming, I'm coming. I think Ankita ma'am should be done. Okay. 
yes now let's go on to question number one everybody which is nutrition in plants nutrition in plants is a very bachusa chapter very easy no very easy chapter we don't need to spend too much time because we know everything in nutrition in plants very simple chapter very scoring chapter 99 percent of you do not have this chapter in your exams which is why in this particular case we will jaldi say move on right so we're going to quickly move on everybody to the last chapter okay so let's get started everybody with this particular chapter organisms which prepare food for themselves using simple naturally available raw materials are called as dash give me the answer are this ma'am is not stuck who prepare their own food autotrophs prepare their own food by using simple substances simple raw materials which are available they prepare their own food now in the absence of which of the following will photosynthesis not occur in leaves guard cells chlorophyll vacuole or space between the cells yes so in this particular case in the absence of which among the following will photosynthesis not happen we know that for photosynthesis to take place chlorophyll is very necessary which is why in this case right if chlorophyll is absent then we see that photosynthesis will not take place next up which of the following statement is or are correct all green plants can prepare their own food most animals are autotrophs carbon dioxide is not required for photosynthesis or oxygen is liberated during photosynthesis what is the answer what is the answer to this so in this particular case as we all know very good gen c very good riddhi yes very good hd5 exactly we know that all plants which are green in color can prepare their own food are most animals autotrophs no all animals are heterotrophs which means they are dependent on other organisms for food carbon dioxide is not required absolutely not carbon dioxide is required for photosynthesis oxygen is liberated during photosynthesis yes this is true so 1 and 4 is true which means that the correct answer is option a next up a pitcher plant traps insects in it because of what because it is a heterotroph because it grows in soil which lacks nitrogen it does not have any chlorophyll or it has digestive enzymes like humans what is the answer yes students jaldi say picture plant is trapping insects because is it a heterotroph no it is a partial autotroph or a partial heterotroph but rather it needs to trap insects because it grows in soil which lack nitrogen in them so the correct answer here is going to be option b right what is the difference between cellular respiration and respiration nothing it's more or less the same only just that it is happening inside the cells awesome navya jaldi say let's hit it to question let's make it all the way to 250 likes okay moving on everyone to question number five the term that is used for the mode of nutrition in yeast mushroom and bread mold now we know that yeast mushroom bread mold are all found growing on dead and decaying matter so in this particular case if they are found on dead and decaying matter they are called as saprotrophs or saprophytes so this mode of nutrition is what we call as saprophytic now we have the last three questions for the day now when you look at the lower surface of the leaf we see that there are various small openings or small pores what do we call such small openings on the underside of the surface are they called as stomata lamina midrib or veins what is the answer students yes what is the answer last three questions okay very good so the small openings that we find are the stomata now of course we have the next one which is two organisms are good friends and they live with each other one provides shelter water and nutrients while the other prepares and provides food such an association where they help each other is called as what 
Is it saprophyte? Is it parasite? Autotroph or symbiosis? What is the answer to this? Yes. Very good. We call this as symbiotic association. Now let's move on to the last question for the day. Which of the following raw material is available in the air for photosynthesis? Which is available? Okay. We have oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen or hydrogen. Which is a raw material available in the air for photosynthesis? I'm going fast because 99% of you don't have this chapter in the exam. But it's an easy chapter, right? Very good. So this right here is going to be carbon dioxide. So with the students, if you see, we come, right? We come to the end of today's class where we have discussed all the questions from biology and we have covered 8 out of 8 questions in this particular chapter or in this particular chapter. So how are we feeling with biology? Are we confident? Yes? Are we all confident about biology? Now I know that many of you still have doubts. Whatever doubts are remaining, let me know in the comments because I have to rush for another class for your seniors which is why now very quickly I will be handing it over to Saurabh sir. And of course you all promised that you would hit 200, and 200 likes before Saurabh sir came but you made it to 230. So very proud. Keep it going and I will see you all soon. So up until then students, whatever doubts are there, let me know in the comments and I will see you all soon. Till then, take care and handing it over to Saurabh sir. Bye bye. When Ashram is running now, I can hear the sound of dan 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 dan. <laughs> so people, welcome. You have practiced complete biology. It's time for physics. Oh, this is my position. Yes. I look so big, no? Everybody, hello, hello, hi, how are you? Hi, yeah, that was hola. <laughs> hello, sir, hola. So, people, I know, I know, I know. See, we have now physics. We won't take time, questions are easy, you are pro. What is it? Time is a little bit. So, shall we start the physics? Kya bol tu? Yes. Lakshesh, Vaishali, Dhruv, Ocean, Sigma, Anu, Nirja, Satve, Gayana, Pragna, Vaishali, Anu, Ariva. Hello, Viraj. Chalo kare. Jaldi. Josh, make them. Shall we start the physics portion? Sab badiya. Clearly audible. Clearly visible. Sab badiya ekdam majama. Good evening. 238. Aray, ruko. We will cross 300. 250 target to you will do in next 5 minutes. Relax. Yes? Alright. Let's start by next hai i will let you choose start kaise karna chahiye heat se ya light se tumko roshni chahiye garmi chahiye first you want light or heat i am good i am good thank you navya come on can we talk shraddha are shraddha ko padhne do heat light heat light theek hai let's let's start from sequence heat bada asaan asaan hai ये लाइट चलो ठीक है एवरीबॉडी सेइंग लाइट तुम्हारी बात रख लेते हैं लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लाइट ये रहा लाइट लाइट को कर देते हैं जरा थोड़ा बड़ा बड़ा सा आ, कितना बड़ा करें दिस लुक्स आई थिंक गुड एक से ज्यादा बड़ा कर देते हैं ये कुछ ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं होंगे दिस इज लाइक टू बिग ना ये सही है ज्यादा बड़ा है आई थिंक दिस इज ओके and we have to make it dark also. Ye raha dark. Are wah. Nice. And then we want this. Alright. We are ready, people. Okay. Pole. Are nahi yaar. Pole will, will, will waste time in poles. Pole wall ke zarat nahi hai. Rapid fire hai aaj. Kya ho gaya pen ko? Are, are, are. Achha, oh. Do pen padhe hai pe. Ah, yes. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, people. Light ki baat kar lete hain. Pahla question is about Bujo and Paheli. Bujo and Paheli were given one mirror each by their teacher. Dono ko ek ek mirror mila hai. Bujo found his image to be erect and of the same size. Whereas Paheli found her image erect and smaller in size. This means that mirrors of Bujo and Paheli are respectively. Haan ji, answers. Come on. Dhruv, I want to give pole here. But you know, poles will take a lot of time. We can do it like a rapid fire. Aise, aise. 
Light in it is not in your exam. Mega, it's okay. We have four chapters of physics. Everything will be very crisp, very quick. Don't worry. Confusion about Jansi. There is a link in the description. A playlist ka link diya hua hai. Whichever chapter you have a problem, you attend the class and you take the quiz. That's it. Kitna asana dekho. C C C C C D D. A lot of people are saying C. Achha, ek baat batao. Let me let me ask you something. What is it, sir? Ye to mirror hai. Both have a mirror. ठीक है. Bujo found his image to be erect and of the same size. Which mirror, right? Which mirror can form an erect image of the same size? तुम बताओ. Hello, Shruti. Uh, hi, Shruti. Come on. Which mirror do you think can form image which is erect and of the same size? सबसे common mirror. तुम रोज देखते हो. Your dressing mirror, dressing table wala mirror. Every day you go in front of the mirror. Tumko khud ki image same lagti hai na bhai. Aisa thodi you feel like you are smaller or you are bigger, right? It's a plain mirror. Very correct. So Bujo has got a plain mirror. Ye to pakka ho gaya. Thik hai. What about Paheli? Paheli found her image erect and smaller in size. Oh. Sir, plain mirror will always form an image which is equal in size. It cannot be plain mirror. Either concave mirror or convex mirror. Ab ye batao. Concave mirror and convex mirror both can form virtual image. We all know that. But concave mirror will form virtual erect and magnified. When? When the object is very close to the mirror. Hai na? But a convex mirror is always going to form virtual erect and diminished image. Easy nahi ho gaya. Bhai, paheli ke paas kya hai? Paheli has a convex mirror. Correct? Hai na? So, by plain mirror hai bujo pe, convex mirror hai paheli pe, C would be the right answer. Chaldi batao. Clear ho gaya? Yes. Ayanas, after exemplar, next is menti only. Relax. Come on. Images found by concave and convex. Haan. Navya, this is a very important topic. I'm glad you asked and that's why. If you check out the playlist na, in that, I have done a special session on this. The links are given to you. Right? In the one shot, if you don't, just watch the small part. This small part, part, 15 minutes. 15 minutes will be It will, everything will be clear. Right? Now, you please see. But in the description, there is everything. Okay, fine. Move forward. Let's see, let's see. Aage chalo, aage chalo. Which of the following can be used to form a real image? Which of the following can be used to form a real image? What will you use? A. Concave mirror only. B. Plane mirror only. C. Convex mirror only. D. Both concave and convex mirror. Answers people. Come on. What is magnified? Matlab enlarged. Bada. Agar image bada hoga na object se usko bolte hai magnified. A, 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 D, 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 D. Raheem, answer bacha, answer. Come on, come on, come on. Dekho naam lene se koi fayda nahi hai. Tum answer do fata fat. Hai na? A, A, A. Yes, Sajani, answer beta, answer. A, A, D, D. Yes, Sanju. Sigma, Jazi, C, Syed, Ashi. Very why? Everybody says. Here yeah, I am getting a lot of A's, but I am getting few D's also. Both look D bol rahe. Ek baat batao. Real image chahiye tumko. Hai na? Convex mirror kya real image banata hai? Does a convex mirror ever forms a real image? Nahi. Bhai, convex mirror and convex mirror and concave lens both are very simple people but simple log hain bolte hain we will not trouble you we will always form virtual erect and diminished image ye dono hamesha image chhota banayenge hai na virtual banayenge erect banayenge lekin chhota banayenge what do you want real image to bhai convex mirror and convex lens to out. Not possible. Ye dono ko thata do. Hai na? Correct. So, sir, convex mirror. Wrong. Plane mirror always forms virtual image of the same size. Plane bhi hata do. Both concave and convex mirror. Bhai, convex mirror to hai nahi. Isko hata ho. Answer kya ho gaya? A ho gaya. Simple si baat hai. Hai na? Come on. Yes. Gaurav, good question. But right now, your question hurt me. I mean, Right now, let's not take this question. You ask me in the comment section, I'll reply you back. But now, what will the rest of the people do if I will answer? Okay? Let's go. Easy question. Bacha, 
केसेस आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रेड सेवेंथ लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली इन लाइट चैप्टर यू फील दिस चैप्टर इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज लाइट हैज सो मेनी ऑफ कॉन्टेंट है ना सो मच ऑफ कॉन्टेंट आज ही मैंने रिकॉर्ड किया है चैप्टर अंडर थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ लाइट आज ही रिकॉर्ड किया है इट विल रीच टू यू बाई टूमोरो आई थिंक टू कल या परसों तक मिल जाएगा तुमको ठीक है प्लीज देखना उसको लाइट चैप्टर के अंदर दीज केसेस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक बार खुद से लिख के करोगे यू विल फाइंड अ पैटर्न सर कॉनकेव मिरर इज इक्वल टू कॉन्वेक्स लेंस कॉन्वेक्स मिरर इज इक्वल टू कॉन्केव लेंस इन दोनों में रिलेशन है ठीक है है ना डिस्पोजिशन क्या होता है छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं बड़ी जल्दी मिल जाएगी आसान चैप्टर है थोड़ा टाइम चाहिए इसको फाइन यस वट इज इरेक्ट अयाना बच्चा इरेक्ट मतलब इफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज लाइक दिस इमेज विल बी लाइक दिस दिस विल बी इरेक्ट इमेज दिस विल बी इन्वर्टेड इमेज है ना इरेक्ट मतलब सीधा इन्वर्टेड मतलब उल्टा ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट 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 क्वेश्चन इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 0.5 मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ प्लेन मिरर द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इमेज फॉर्म बाय द आंसर चाहिए फटाफट कम ऑन इट्स ओके यू आर स्लाइटली रेड कोई बात नहीं हेलो पूर्वी कम ऑन डी बिकॉज हां यू आर राइट नहीं अरे पूर्वी डी नहीं है पिछले वाले का People, come on, come on, come on. B, 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 C, 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 B, B, C, C. I am getting few C's, yar. Full marks are there, very good. हाँ देखो प्रॉपर्टीज बच्चा प्रॉपर्टीज के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन में एक एक सेशन दिया हुआ है ना प्लेलिस्ट दिया पूरी ग्रेड सेवन सेलेक्ट करो लाइक का चैप्टर सेलेक्ट करो वन शॉट मिल जाएगा छोटा सा पोर्शन देख लो ना यार एक बात बताओ lot of you are saying C. ध्यान से अरे read the question properly. Question बड़ा प्यारा है ये. It's a very, very, very good question. मतलब, if an object is placed at a distance of 0.5 meter in front of a plane mirror, sir, ये रहा mirror. This is the plane mirror. ठीक. Now, where is the object? Uh, 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 uh. Where is the object? Object is 0.5 meters in front of the mirror. ये रहा object. अरे वाह. ये रहा हमारा smarty. ठीक है. Object is in front of the mirror. कहाँ पे है ये? Sir, this is point. 5 मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ द मिरर क्वेश्चन क्या है ध्यान से यही गलती होती है द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द इमेज पीपल हु आर सेइंग 0.5 तुम पता है क्या आंसर दे रहे हो यू आर टेलिंग मी द डिस्टेंस ऑफ मिरर फ्रॉम द इमेज ना क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू डिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द इमेज इमेज कहां बनेगा भाई इमेज कहां बनेगा ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस विल बी इक्वल टू इमेज डिस्टेंस इनसाइड द मिरर ना तो इमेज कहां बनेगा भाई दिस विल बी द इमेज ऐसा अरे नहीं ऐसा 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 एंड दिस विल बी द इमेज ऑफ द स्मार्टी सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर टोटल डिस्टेंस कितना हो गया वन मीटर ना तो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी बी यस और नो करेक्ट यस बच्चों क्लियर हो गया ये बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है इट्स अ वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन इन एम सी This is a very good question because you have to read the question properly. Dif distance between what object and mirror, okay. Between image and mirror, okay. But between object and mirror will be double. Yes or no? है ना? Yes or no? I have covered all the things in that video. नहीं समझा? बच्चा mirror के सामने object जितनी दूरी पे होगा, mirror के अंदर image भी उतनी ही दूरी पे होगा. अगर ये एक meter है, अगर ये 0.5 meter है, तो ये भी 0.5 meter होगा. अब इन दोनों के बीच में कितना distance है? 0.5 प्लस पॉइंट फाइव टोटल वन है ना भाई आसान क्वेश्चन है एक बार आराम से ए कितने लोग रफ वर्क के साथ कर रहे हो हाउ मेनी फ्यू आर डूइंग इट विद रफ वर्क या कितने लोग हवा में कर रहे हो प्लीज प्लीज रफ वर्क के साथ यू शुड हैव योर नोटबुक एंड पेन करेक्ट आर एंड डिमिनिश मतलब बेटा छोटा चलो 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 क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर यू आर प्रोवाइडेड विद अ कॉनकेव मिरर कौन सा मिरर कॉनकेव मिरर अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर a convex lens and a con concave mirror convex mirror concave lens and convex lens dekho charo cheeze tumko de di hai to obtain an enlarged image of an object you can use either this is the question which i gave you hint just now ab bhi maine hint diya tha kin ke beech mein kya rishta hai yes second level second level full marks kaise aaye बच्चा ये प्रैक्टिस करके आएंगे फुल मार्क्स देखो देर इज नो शॉर्टकट फॉर फुल मार्क्स यार तुम सोचो ना एक बच्चा जो पूरे साल मेहनत करता है उसके फुल मार्क्स तो आने हैं यू आर थिंकिंग इन वन वीक यू विल डू सम मैजिक एंड यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स या तो यू आर कमिटेड फॉर एक्सट्री इनफाइनेट अमाउंट ऑफ मेहनत हार्ड वर्क प्लस स्मार्ट वर्क प्लस एवरीथिंग प्रैक्टिस एवरीथिंग वॉट एवर एम सींग लिसन 
देर इज अ प्ले लिस्ट गिवन टू यू वॉच दो सेशन एंड अटेम्प्ट क्विज बहुत जरूरी है कम ऑन बी 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 वेरी गुड यार ठीक है भाई एनलार्ज इमेज चाहिए तुमको कौन कौन बना सकता है एनलार्ज इमेज यू टेल मी कॉन वेक्स मिरर कैन इट फॉर्म एनलार्ज इमेज नो कॉनकेव लेंस कैन इट फॉर्म एनलार्ज इमेज नो क्यों भाई कॉन्वेक्स मिरर कॉनकेव लेंस तो एक जैसे होते हैं ऑलवेज फॉर्म वर्चुअल इरेक्ट एंड डिमेनेज इमेज तो इनको तो हटा दो बचे क्या सर कॉनकेव मिरर एंड ओ oh, मैंने गलत को क्रॉस कर दिया कॉनकेव लेंस कॉनकेव लेंस इज नॉट पॉसिबल कॉन्वेक्स मिरर इज नॉट पॉसिबल तो बचा क्या कॉनकेव मिरर एंड कॉन्वेक्स लेंस आंसर क्या होगा कॉनकेव मिरर और कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इजी बोथ कैन फॉर्म वर्चुअल इरेक्ट एंड मैग्निफाइड इमेज कब व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द मिरर और लेंस है ना यस yes. जल्दी बताओ हा मैग्निफाइंग क्लास क्लियर हो गया बेटा एज यू कैन सी It's a living proof. Cases of mirrors and lenses are extremely important. बल्कि you don't have all the cases. Grade टेंथ में आओगे ना I will teach you separately. C और F के बीच में कितना होता है right? Beyond C क्या होगा What is the numericals? Where to find object position and image position? ये चीजें detail में आएंगी Right now you just have two cases. When the object is very close और object is far. है ना ये दो ही केस बने हैं ना This 30 minute lecture will come to you after टू थ्री days. Please, please watch that यार बहुत जरूरी है वो जिनको भी कंफ्यूजन है बहुत ध्यान से बता रहा हूं मैं ठीक है चलो आ गया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ओ गिदांश इट्स ओके नाइस यार नव्या गुड गुड टू फिफ्टी टू अरे मिस्टी क्या बोल रहे हो अ रेनबो कैन बी सीन इन द स्काई व्हेन द सन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अरे 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 यार ये तो ऑप्शन ही टूट गए आई विल है साइज I have to reduce more. Hmm. When the sun is in front of you, first option. When the sun is behind you, second option. When the sun is overhead, third option. And when only at the time of sunrise is fourth option. क्या लगता है? Rainbow कब दिखता है? Sir, बारिश के बाद. वो तो option भी नहीं है. It is talking about the sun. Come on. What is assertion? Sunil, assertion मतलब बेटा statement. कोई भी statement को assertion बोलते हैं. तब क्या होगा? Uh, Arnavi, twenty. आंसर वुड बी ट्वेंटी देन यस अनिकेत कमान 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 ओह नाइस आसिया यस ऑफ कोर्स कमान बी बी ए ए बी 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 व्हाट इज इन्वर्टेड इमेज उल्टा इमेज इफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज लाइक दिस इमेज इज लाइक दिस दैट्स इन्वर्टेड यार एक बात बताओ हैव यू नोटिस दिस इन रेनबो Sun should be behind you, sir. First condition is I should have water droplets in the sky. By who will act as a prism? तुमको rainbow देखने के लिए क्या चाहिए, sir? Dispersion चाहिए, है ना? I want dispersion. I want splitting of white light into seven colors, which is called as dispersion. कौन करता है dispersion? The device which can disperse white light, है ना? The device which can perform dispersion is prism. In a way, जो हमको सबसे common device पता है, वो है prism, right? So prism can can perform dispersion. हवा में कौन सा प्रिज्म आ गया यार वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स द वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स आर एक्टिंग लाइक अ प्रिज्म ओवर देयर ओके अब इसके अंदर क्या होता है सन शुड बी बिहाइंड यू द सन शुड अरे रे 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 द सन शुड बी बिहाइंड यू ये रहा वाटर ड्रॉपलेट लाइट रे फ्रॉम द सन लाइट रे फ्रॉम द सन शुड फॉल हेयर इट शुड गो इनसाइड यहां से रिफ्लेक्ट होनी चाहिए एंड इट शुड कम आउट ठीक है इस तरह से इफ सन इज बिहाइंड यू यू विल गेट अ रेनबो देर पहली कंडीशन इसके अंदर रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट होता है है ना इसके अंदर विल सी इन ग्रेट टेंथ दे बी रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट सो रेनबो वन कंडीशन इज यू शुड हैव वॉटर ड्रॉप इन द स्काई सो इट कुड बी रेनी सीजन आफ्टर रेन ये हो सकता है दूसरा सन पीछे होना चाहिए क्यों सन रेज विल फॉल ऑन ड्रॉपलेट्स गेट डिस्पर्ज गेट रिफ्लेक्टेड एंड कम बैक टू यू सन की रेज आएंगी सामने डिस्पर्जन होगा रिफ्लेक्शन होगा नीचे आ जाएंगी ठीक क्लियर यस अरे 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 क्या चल रही है ठीक है वेरी गुड चलो ये हो गया लेट्स इंक्रीज द साइज ना साइज बढ़ा देते हैं यार हाँ वेरी गुड चैतन्य बेटा देखो रेनबो फॉर्मेशन में ना 
in rainbow formation what happens two conditions are there first you want something to perform dispersion what is dispersion sir splitting of white light into seven colors is called as dispersion tumko chahiye koi jo dispersion kar de kaun karega water droplet hai na water droplets are acting like prism in the sky theek dusri cheez sun should be behind you sun piche rahega the rays of sun will fall on the water droplets theek then inside the water droplets what will happen sir splitting of light will happen dispersion hoga usi ke andar reflection hoga and then the light will come to you so light jayegi dispersion hoga niche aayegi tumhari taraf and then you will see acha rainbow dikh raha hai to ye do condition hai bhai theek hai question 5 nahi samjha maine 5 hi samjhaya abhi navya i just explained fifth question bachcha rainbow formation people i have done a special session for grade 10th on rainbow formation and in your one shot which i am telling you wahan par rainbow formation samjha rakha hai niche theek hai bachcho one shot dekha hai tum logon ne kaisi baatein karte ho yaar ये छोटे छोटे कॉन्सेप्ट है ग्रेड सेवेंथ प्लीज वॉच दी स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स ठीक है ओके वाई कांट द सन बी इन फ्रंट किंग टाइगर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट रिफ्लेक्शन बेटा सन अगर सामने होगा है ना रिफ्लेक्शन कहां होगा सो इन रेनबो फॉर्मेशन यू हैव थ्री थिंग्स रेनबो फॉर्मेशन में तीन चीजें होती हैं पहले होता है डिस्पर्जन यहां पर क्या होता है स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ लाइट हो जाता है उसके बाद यहां पर होता है रिफ्लेक्शन सो दिस इज वेयर रिफ्लेक्शन हैपन्स एंड देन यू हैव वापिस से बाहर निकलता है ठीक है तो ये जो रिफ्लेक्शन है दिस रिफ्लेक्शन कैसे होगा अगर सामने सन होगा है ना राइट सो दैट्स वाई सन शुड बी बिहाइंड ठीक हो गया क्लियर हो गया जल्दी आई नो मैं बहुत टाइम नहीं दे रहा हूं इसको लेकिन वन शॉट देखो ना प्लीज चलो आगे चले चले भैया आगे दोस्तों नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अरे 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 ये कहा गया यस yes. क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द केसेस एन इरेक्ट एंड एनलार्ज इमेज कैन बी फॉर्म्ड बाय फोर ऑप्शंस आंसर बता दो जरा क्रिस्टल क्लियर सिग्मा डोंट वरी विल गिव यू गुड न्यूज कुछ टाइम में मिलेंगे तुमको आकाश बाई जूस चैनल पे व्हाट इज बैंड ऑफ कलर स्पेक्ट्रम यस आसिया अरे नहीं कुछ चीजें सीक्रेट रहे तो अच्छा है डाउट है डाउट बी 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 ए ए ए डी 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 कम ऑन पीपल बी डी 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 लॉर्ड ऑफ डीज वन और टू एज ए ए डी 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 या या पीपल आई रिमेम्बर यू कम ऑन कम ऑन अक्षय अरे आई एम स्पीकिंग एवरीबडी आई एल कम ऑन एवरीबडी आई एम स्पीकिंग विद गिव मी द आंसर ए एंड डी यार सब लोग ए और डी क्यों बोल रहे हो An erect and enlarged image can be formed by erect and enlarged image. Kids, I am seeing lot of mistakes in these questions. अरे listen na. Mirrors may we have two mirrors: concave mirror and convex mirror. Lenses, we have two lenses: convex lens and concave lens. Right. We have two lenses, convex lens and concave lens. Relation-wise, relation-wise, these two have similar relation. मतलब means they will form, they will form what, sir? Real inverted image normally. Normally they will form real inverted image. Depending on the position of object, size of image will be different. Different. ठीक है. But when you keep the object very close, when you keep the object very close, they will form virtual, enlarged, and erect image. ये तुम्हारे channel पे इतने सारे shots, इतने example, इतने experiment करके डाले हुए हैं. तुम देखते नहीं हो क्या वो सब? I understand people. जब तक हम feel ना करें चीजों को समझ नहीं आती है ना? I agree with you. But on the channel, so many things are there. You have Baiju the Learning app also. उसके अंदर एक बार light का chapter खोल के तो देखो. एक बार खोल के देखो. ना feel आ गया तो बात करना. Please, right? One shot भी हो रखा है. So virtual, erect, and enlarged image. कब मिलेगा? When the object is very close to concave mirror and convex lens. ठीक, ठीक. Now what about these two? ये दोनों एक जैसे हैं. इसमें क्या हो रहा है? In both of them, they will form virtual, erect, and diminished image. 
भाई हमेशा ये दोनों कॉन्केव लेंस एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर बोथ ऑफ देम विल ऑलवेज फॉर्म डिमिनिश्ड इमेज वर्चुअल इरेक्ट बनाएंगे बट डिमिनिश्ड बनाएंगे अब बताओ इरेक्ट एंड एनलार्ज इमेज कैन बी फॉर्मड बाय वो हु कौन बनाएगा इरेक्ट और एनलार्ज इमेज पीपल कम ऑन हुल फॉर्म कॉन्वेक्स मिरर नो नॉट पॉसिबल कॉन्केव मिरर कॉन्केव मिरर इज पॉसिबल प्लेन मिरर नॉट पॉसिबल बोथ कॉन्वेक्स एंड कॉन्केव मिरर अरे नॉट पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर कैन नॉट फॉर्म एन लार्ज इमेज सो आंसर वुड बी बी कम ऑन यार दिस इज क्लियर पीपल लिसन टू मी इफ यू फेस डिफिकल्टी इन द केसेज आज ही नोट बनाओ दीवार पर चिपका दो दीवार पर चिपका दो और रोज उसको दो मिनट देखना है तुमको ठीक है आई एम टेलिंग यू This is very important. Exams are very close. One shot is given to you. ये सब चीजें बहुत अच्छी हैं. लेकिन याद तो तुमको खुद ही करना पड़ेगा ना भाई. So how will you do it? Make a chart, do this thing and stick it on the wall और उसको रोज दो मिनट देख लेना ऐसे करके. ठीक है? Clear है? गलती नहीं चाहिए. चलो आ गया. Your brain will find the pattern, but you give some chance to it. अरे तुम्हारा दिमाग pattern बना देगा. उसको chance तो दो. भरोसा तो करो. Question number seventh. People, yes, you were right. Very good. What is concave mirror and convex mirror? So Neil, bacha, one shot is there for you. What you are asking me after Ramayana, you are asking me who is Ram and who is Sita. I will not explain, bacha. One shot is there. मेहनत तो करो थोड़ी सी. एक लिंक है क्लिक करना है और सुनना है, है ना? समझ रहे हो ना? थोड़ी मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी यार ऐसे कैसे होगा? समझ रहे हो? चलो. Question number seven. You are provided with a convex mirror, a concave mirror, a convex lens, and a concave lens. You can get an inverted image from. One more question from cases. You can imagine how important these cases are. समझ रहे हो? Why do you need a concave mirror? Why dentist use? Dentist want to see a big image of the tooth. But tooth is small. You want to see it big, na? That is why you want a virtual erect and enlarged image. कौन बनाएगा? Concave mirror. That's why. B B B B D D D D. Yes, concave mirror used in car. <laughs> That is convex mirror. C C C C हाँ क्वेश्चन से प्यार तो हो जाएगा B C B C C C C C C C C C C लक्ष्य कॉन्केव लेंस बेटा कॉन्केव लेंस डाइवर्जिंग लेंस होता है ऑलवेज फॉर्म वर्चुअल रेक्ट एंड डिमिनेश इमेज कमेंट सेक्शन पीपल इफ यू वांट दी स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स टू बी आंसर्ड कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल फॉरवर्ड यू द वीडियो मैं समझाऊंगा नहीं मैं वीडियो दे दूंगा तुमको बस ये सुनो काम हो जाएगा थोड़ी मेहनत लगेगी बस Now I'm getting C, lot of C's. Inverted image कौन बनाएगा जी? Who will form inverted image? Concave lens, inverted image. Concave lens always forms virtual erect magnified image. Always virtual erect image is formed by a concave lens. Who else forms a virtual erect image always? Convex mirror. कहाँ है convex mirror? ये रा. Convex mirror कैसे बनाता है? Virtual erect और magnified. तुमको क्या चाहिए यू वॉन्ट इन्वर्टेड तो वेर एवर यू विल सी कॉन्केव लेंस एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर उसको हटा दो ना ऑप्शन को सिंपल सी बात वेर एवर यू विल सी कॉन्केव मिरर सॉरी कॉन्वेक्स मिरर एंड कॉन्केव लेंस रिमूव दैट ऑप्शन बिकॉज इट विल नेवर फॉर्म इन्वर्टेड इमेज कॉन्केव लेंस सर ऑप्शन ए इज रॉन्ग कॉन्वेक्स मिरर ऑप्शन बी इज रॉन्ग कॉन्केव मिरर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस अच्छा आई डोंट नो कॉन्वेक्स मिरर कॉन्केव लेंस ओ हो ये तो दोनों यहां बैठे हुए हैं नॉट पॉसिबल सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर ये कमांड टू सेवन टू कंप्लीट वेरी गुड Yes, what is spectrum? Science. It is a band of different different wavelengths. That is something we call as spectrum, right? Badiya. Yes. Everybody, please watch the one shot. I'm talking about how many times. Link in the description. Me, usko dekho. Aise baithe baitha hai nahi hoga kisa bacha. Mehnat karni padegi thodi si. Chhik hai? Thank you, Arman. Yes, come on, come on, come on, people. Next, 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 next. Eighth question: An image formed by a lens is erect. Again, you can understand how many important these cases are. How many important are? Exemplar ke sare question cases se, almost. Now let's leave it. Read it a little bit. An image formed by a lens is erect. Such an image could be, could be formed by a... Big question. Hai. Yes, what is diminished mirror? But chat, mirror is not diminished. Image is diminished. Yes, Sharik sir, sorry, Sheik sir, Menti from next week. Come on, oh, Asiya, good, yeah.
पीपल कमान 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 कॉन्वेक्स एंड कॉन्केव लेंस दिशी बच्चा कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज दिस कॉन्केव लेंस इज दिस कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज कन्वर्जिंग कॉन्केव लेंस इज डाइवर्जिंग आई एम गेटिंग बी 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 यू वॉन्ट माई हेयर अरे वाह दक्षेश तथा अस्तु कमान ए ए ए डी 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 ओके इमेज फॉर्म बाय अ लेंस इज इरेक्ट ठीक है सर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस कैन फॉर्म इरेक्ट इमेज व्हेन व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज वेरी क्लोज एंड द इमेज विल बी मैग्निफाइड मींस इमेज साइज विल बी बिगर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट करेक्ट इन अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस it can form erect image that's true convex lens can form erect image but kab when object is very close second magnified image matlab image size will be bigger than the object ab dhyan se dekho yahan par kya bol raha hai image is smaller than object to galat ho gaya na option a is wrong second concave lens provided the image is smaller than the object concave lens Can it form virtual image? Yes, sir. Can it form erect image? Yes, sir. It will always form erect image. कैसा होगा इमेज का साइज स्मॉलर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट ये तो सच बात है ऑलवेज फॉर्म वर्चुअल इरेक्ट एंड डिमिनिश्ड इमेज है ना यस करेक्ट सो दैट्स वाई कॉन्केव लेंस प्रोवाइडेड द इमेज इज स्मॉलर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट सही लग रहा है बाकी चेक कर लेते हैं कॉन्केव लेंस प्रोवाइडेड इमेज इज लार्जर देन ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं यार इमेज विल बी स्मॉलर डिमिनिश होता है ना सर ऑप्शन सी इज रॉन्ग Concave lens provided the images of same size नहीं भैया image of same size is done by plane mirror concave lens थोड़े ही correct है ना D is done ठीक है clear हो गया everybody class है सेवेंथ with this we are done with light and I am very sure many of you who are confident you have practiced the cases properly बच्चों जिन्होंने नहीं किया है playlist दिया हुआ है नीचे तुमको सब कुछ अरे पूरी थाली सजा के तुम्हारे सामने रखिए तुमको खाना है बस अपने हाथ से खा तो लो दैट इज द ओनली थिंग आई एम आस्किंग है ना सो पीपल अभी जाग गए हो एंड आई एम नॉट सेइंग टू एवरीबॉडी पीपल हु आर सेइंग आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग इन लाइट टू दोज पीपल आई एम सेइंग गाइस प्लीज प्लीज वॉच द वन शॉट वो एक घंटे की मेहनत है सब सॉन्ग में आ जाएगा बट तुमको करनी पड़ेगी वो मेहनत है ना ठीक है प्लीज सो विद वी आर डन विद लाइट अच्छे क्वेश्चन थे मैक्सिमम फ्रॉम केसेज ओनली ठीक है है ना कॉन्फिडेंस अरे वाह ओह नाइस ऑल राइट ना भैया कमान पीपल नेक्स्ट क्या किया जाए लाइट के बाद लेट्स डू हीट कर लेते हैं हीट कर लें थोड़ा गर्मी आएगी ना थोड़ा वार्म अप हो जाएगा सेवेंथ ये बच्चा दिस इज सेवेंथ ओनली लेट्स डू हीट हीट आसान चैप्टर यार हीट इज वेरी इजी चैप्टर इट्स जस्ट It has a few diagram-based questions. Okay. Next, I want this, 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 this. Anji, chalo, come on. Heat ki baat kar lete hain. Garma garam chapter hai, ekdam. Very crispy and hot chapter. Let's talk about this chapter. A marble tile would feel cold as compared to a wooden tile. People who just came out of the winter season and most of you most of you are still in the winter season a marble tile would feel cold as compared to a wooden tile on a winter morning because the marble tile four options come on nice yeah 286 will do 300 don't worry yes <laughs> are it's okay relax don't worry come on aa nahi raha heat kuldeep are aa jayega beta practice karo सारे क्वेश्चन बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है ध्यान से सुनो अगर कहीं दिक्कत होगी आई टेल यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम यस डी 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 हीट इज लीटेड नहीं नहीं यार इट इज देयर इन सीबीएसई अरे दक्षे डरो मत यार रिलैक्स बढ़िया लगोगे तुम सी अरे रिद्धि सिद्धि को छोड़ो तुम पहले हीट की बात करो आ जाओ है ना पढ़ रही है रिद्धि एन सिद्धि डी 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 ए ए सी सी ये क्या चल रहा है भाई यार एक बात बताओ ना वाई डू फील समथिंग एज कोल्ड और समथिंग एज हॉट क्यों लगता है तुमको देर इज अ वेरी देर इज अ नाउ वी नो वीडियो ऑल्सो देर इज अ नाउ वी नो वीडियो वाई आइसक्रीम इज सर्व इन पेपर कप्स ये भी वीडियो हुआ है है ना 
अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वाई डू यू फील समथिंग एज हॉट और समथिंग एज कोल्ड भाई देखो दिस इज अ प्लास्टिक पेन राइट इफ आई टच इट आई डोंट फील वेरी कोल्ड वाई इट इज इंसुलेटर वेन डू यू फील कोल्ड वेन समथिंग टेक्स हीट फ्रॉम द स्किन यू विल फील्ड कोल्ड अगर कोई तुम्हारी स्किन से ना हीट लेके चल देगा इफ समन टेक्स हीट फ्रॉम यू देन यू विल फील कोल्ड समझे सो इफ दिस बॉडी विल बी अ कंडक्टर इफ लेट से दिस इज अ कंडक्टर यू विल टच इट फ्रॉम हेयर बिकॉज इट इज अ कंडक्टर इट विल टेक हीट फ्रॉम योर हैंड एंड टेक इट अवे करेक्ट सो वॉट अ कंडक्टर विल डू अ कंडक्टर विल टेक हीट फ्रॉम यू एंड कैरी इट फॉरवर्ड That is why you feel cold. But insulator, they don't conduct. So वो क्या करेंगे? Your your heat in your hand will remain there. You won't feel cold. Getting getting this point? Yes. समझे? भाई marble tile एक अच्छा conductor है compared to wood. <coughs> when you touch a marble tile, what is happening? When you are touching when you are touching a marble tile, let's say this is your finger, है ना? When you are touching a marble tile, marble tile is taking heat from your finger, and that is what you are feeling. तुमको लग रही है ठंड इस वजह से. But if it is a, let's say if it is wood, है ना मान लो ये wood है, and you are touching the wood. अगर तुम wood को touch करोगे, wood is an insulator. It will not conduct heat, so you will not, you will not lose heat from the body. You will not feel cold. Simple सी बात एकदम, है ना? Right? ठीक. So correct answer would be. A marble tile would feel cold because marble is a better conductor of heat than the wooden tile. Option A will be the right answer. Yes, है ना? Very good. जल्दी बताओ. Everybody, is this clear? Yes or no? Clear हुआ? कोई चीज ठंडी क्यों लगती है? क्योंकि वो चीज आपकी बॉडी से हीट लेके जा रही है. Who will take the heat and go away? Heat कौन लेके भागेगा? कंडक्टर्स यस और नो क्लियर है ना कंगा आई एम कमिंग टू दैट चैप्टर बच्चा डोंट वरी ठीक है करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन भाई अ बेगर है ना अ बेगर रैप्ड हिमसेल्फ विद अ फ्यू लेयर्स ऑफ न्यूज़पेपर ऑन अ कोल्ड विंटर नाइट इट वाज अ विंटर नाइट सर्दियों की रात थी एक भिकारी ने क्या किया ऐसे न्यूज़पेपर लिए और उनकी ना लेयर बना बना के अपने कपड़ों के बीच में घुसा लिया ठीक This helped him. This helped him to keep himself warm because why? कैसे भाई कैसे help हुआ? First, friction between layers of newspaper produces heat. Second, air trapped between the layers of newspaper is a bad conductor. Third, newspaper is a conductor of heat. Last, newspaper is at a higher temperature than the temperature of the surrounding. Yes, come on. Class eighth or seventh? Seventh, seventh. बढ़िया बढ़िया अरे B B B B B B B nice again go with the same logic if you want to protect yourself from heat i mean from the cold in winters if you want to protect yourself from the outside cold what do you want you want a layer in between which does not allow your body heat to go outside because when will you feel cold tumhe thanda kab lagega jab tumhari body ki heat bahar chali jayegi what do you want you want a barrier in between you want insulation in between What's the, what is the best insulator you know about heat? Air. So what is happening? This newspaper, है ना? These newspapers. In between these newspapers, there is air, and air is the hero of insulation. Wherever you want to protect something, something from heat, what do you do? You make a layer of air over there, है ना? Yes, correct. Fine. बढ़िया. तो क्या हो रहा है? Air trapped between the layers of newspaper is a bad conductor of heat. That is the reason. See, newspaper is also a bad conductor, but air is a super bad conductor. It's a best insulator. Correct, है ना? जल्दी बताओ. Chapter is heat. People, chapter is heat. People are joining late. Today we are doing full exemplar MCQs, right? And this is doing. We are doing this for grade seventh. ठीक है? हाँ. अरे दक्षिण बेटा कोई बात नहीं बढ़िया. सेवेंथ क्लास सेवेंथ क्लास सेवेंथ क्लास ये सेवेंथ क्लास बेटा ठीक है वेरी गुड फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन लेयर्स एंड सर वेस्ट ऑप्शन न्यूज़पेपर इज़ अ कंडक्टर गलत हाई टेम्परेचर गलत सो ऑप्शन बी इज़ शॉर्ट शॉट जल्दी बताओ 
नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द चांसेस आर वेन एवर यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग बॉडी हीट है ना हाउ टू सेव योर सेल्फ इन विंटर्स नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द चांसेस एयर विल बी द रीजन आदर यू गो फॉर ब्लैंकेट आदर यू मेक एन इग्लू वट एवर यू डू एयर उसमें आ जाएगा येस और नो क्लियर मैग्नीफाइड गेम तो आप नो बच्चा देर उल्टा मैग्नीफाइड इज बिग इमेज इमेज इज स्मॉल इमेज यस गेम क्राफ्ट हाँ हो गया ना आई आई टू क्यूर डाउट इट्स अ बिग नेटवर्क इशू इज इट एवरीबॉडी क्लियरली ऑडिबल क्लियरली विजिबल एंड द क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर यस और नो जल्दी बताओ जल्दी 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 कमान 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 क्वेश्चन अरे हीरो वीरो नहीं है जल्दी बताओ क्लियर हो गया ना इजी क्वेश्चन है बेटा वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड देन आगे आ जाओ पहेली और बुझो की बात हो रही है भाई पहेली एंड बुझो मेजर देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर पहेली फाउंड हर्स टू बी 98.6 डिग्री फ़ारेनहाइट एंड बुझो रिकॉर्डेड 37 डिग्री सेल्सियस है ना नाइस वेरी गुड वुड इज अ गुड और बैड कंडक्टर गुड वुड इज अ बैड कंडक्टर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू बट एयर इज अ वर्स्ट कंडक्टर वर्स देन एयर इज वैक्यूम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू नाइस क्वेश्चन है भाई पहली हैज हायर बॉडी टेम्परेचर देन बुझो पहली हैज लोअर टेम्परेचर देन बुझो बोथ हैव नॉर्मल बॉडी टेम्परेचर बोथ आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम फीवर क्या दिक्कत है दोनों में सी 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 डिमिनिश एंड इरेक्ट बच्चा इरेक्ट मतलब सीधा इमेज डिमिनिश मतलब छोटा इमेज वेरी गुड यार बोथ हैव सेम टेम्परेचर गाइज 37 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ नॉर्मल बॉडी टेम्परेचर इन फेरन हाइट वॉट इज इट 98.6 दोनों का बॉडी टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल है भाई किसी को बुखार नहीं है दोनों मस्त है एकदम ठीक है दोनों को स्कूल जाना पड़ेगा सो करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी बोथ हैव नॉर्मल बॉडी टेम्परेचर दीज आर द वेरी कॉमन वैल्यूज यस है ना ये तो कॉमन वैल्यूज है एकदम इसमें डरने की बात ही नहीं है चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पे आओ अरे वाह डायग्राम वाला क्वेश्चन है ये बुझो हैज थ्री थर्मोमीटर एज शोन इन द फिगर सर ये तो आई कैन सी ओनली वन थर्मोमीटर ओके डोंट वरी आई शो यू हाँ हाँ Yes. हाँ जी दीज आर थ्री थर्मोमीटर्स ना बुझो हैज थ्री थर्मोमीटर्स एज शोन इन द फिगर ही वॉन्ट्स टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ हिज बॉडी एंड दैट ऑफ बॉइलिंग वॉटर हिज बॉडी एंड बॉइलिंग वॉटर विच थर्मोमीटर शुड ही चूज पहले बताओ फॉर बॉडी टेम्परेचर विच थर्मोमीटर ही कैन चूज वन टू थ्री वन टू टू थ्री वन थ्री कौन कौन सा चूज कर सकता है बॉडी टेम्परेचर के लिए यस yes. अरे वाह थ्री तीन सौ हो गए वेरी गुड कमान क्लास चलेगी बेटा खुशी नाइन थर्टी यस आंसर आंसर पीपल रिजवाना टू टू सात्विक नहीं यार बोथ ए एंड सी बोथ ए एंड सी थ्री अरे सुनो ना सी दिस थर्मोमीटर यू हैव दिस वन इन योर होम राइट नाउ मेनी ऑफ यू To measure your body temperature, जब जब बुखार होता है नाव डेज वी आर यूजिंग दिस थर्मोमीटर ये वाला द डिजिटल थर्मोमीटर है ना दिस इज वॉट वी आर यूजिंग इसमें तो हिंट भी लिखा है थर्टी सेवन थर्टी सेवन इज रिटर्न भाई थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस क्या होता है बॉडी टेम्परेचर ना ये दिस इज यूज नाव डेज इन डॉक्टर्स यूज इट यू ऑल्सो माइट बी हैविंग इट ये वाला दिस इज द ओल्ड वन अब तुम बोलोगे सर ढंग से नहीं दिख रहा है ओके वेट अ सेकेंड हाँ जी ना Look at the range. Look at the range. Range दिखा रहा था क्या पहले? ला 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 ला। हाँ दिखा रहा था ना? भाई look at the range. People, this is going from this is what thirty four. This is thirty five. This is forty two. है ना? This is going from forty two. ये thirty four नहीं है ninety four है. Thirty five to forty two degree Celsius. अरे भैया क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर है ये तो दिस इज क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर राइट सो यू कैन यूज फर्स्ट वन एंड द थर्ड वन फॉर मेजरिंग बॉडी टेम्परेचर सेकेंड वाला लुक एट द रेंज रेंज देखो सर दिस इज गोइंग हंड्रेड एंड टेन हंड्रेड एंड टेन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम माइनस टेन दिस इज लेबोरेटरी यस सेवन क्लास का लिंक अक्षा बच्चा सेवन क्लास का लिंक नीचे होगा ना डिस्क्रिप्शन में प्ले होगी करेक्ट है ना so second wala is laboratory thermometer bhai for boiling water you want 100 degree celsius to be measured kitna hota hai boiling water ka 100 degree celsius na tumko chahiye thermometer which should have 100 at least this one has 110 this is okay this is a laboratory thermometer this is clinical this is also clinical fine answer samajh aa gaya sabko ab option dekh lete hain 
थर्मोमीटर वन और थ्री फॉर मेजरिंग बॉडी टेम्परेचर एंड टू फॉर मेजरिंग टेम्परेचर बॉलिंग वाटर अरे वाह सर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर एकदम बढ़िया बढ़िया हो गया ठीक है है ना क्लियर फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड वन फॉर बॉइलिंग वाटर सेकंड वन यस नवे राइट सेकंड इज फॉर बॉइलिंग वाटर वेरी गुड बच्चा बॉइलिंग वाटर में वी यूज लेबोरेटरी थर्मोमीटर फॉर बॉडी टेम्परेचर दट इज ह्यूमन बॉडी टेम्परेचर वी यूज क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर इट हैज रेंज ऑफ थर्टी टू फोर्टी टू लेबोरेटरी वन हैज माइनस टेन टू हंड्रेड एंड डिग्री सेल्सियस इजी सर एकदम क्या सर बच्चों वाली चीजें पढ़ा रहे हो आप मजा नहीं आ रहा है ना कोई बात नहीं रुको तो अरे रुको हाँ जी यस कमान क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ओह हो अरे यार आई थिंक टू मच जूम इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हाँ जी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन मैं थोड़ा हट जाता हूं लुक एट द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन फोर अरेंजमेंट्स टू मेजर टेम्परेचर ऑफ आइस इन बीकर विद लेबोरेटरी थर्मोमीटर आर शोन इन फिगर दिस ए बी सी डी विच वन ऑफ देम शोज द करेक्ट अरेन्जमेंट फॉर एक्यूरेट मेजरमेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर चारों को देखो लुक एट ऑल फोर ऑफ देम एंड देन यू टेल विच वन इज द करेक्ट अरेन्जमेंट फॉर मेजरिंग प्रॉपर टेम्परेचर कम ऑन बी वाला क्लिनिकल नहीं बी वाला बच्चा क्लिनिकल नहीं था तीन सौ चार वेरी गुड ब्लैक सर्विस गुड एब्जॉर्बर ऑफ हीट रेडिएशन कम ऑन लाइट थीम कर दू क्या कुछ नहीं दिख रहा is it a a a a c c a n c confusion ah let me change the theme let's see ek bar kuch farak padta hai kya ab dekho is your answer same or is your answer changing you want to measure the temperature of water which one of them which one of them Which one of them is the proper arrangement? A, B, C, D. By the way, white is better or dark? मतलब चलो ठीक है पहले इसका आंसर दे दो फिर बात करेंगे वाइट डार्क पे ए बी सी डी गुड अरे भाई दिस इज दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टीज ना द प्रिकॉशन यू नीड टू टेक वाइल मेजरिंग थ्रू अ टर्मोमीटर करेक्ट है ना यस हाँ ठीक है सही है ना अरे तो सच बात नहीं हो गया एकदम हाँ सर क्या बात कर दी आपने अरे यार पेन फिर चेंज हो गया क्या oh, yes. इस पेन को मैं आ रहा हूं हां जी सम सिंह सर इन दिस वन द प्रॉब्लम इज क्या प्रॉब्लम है इस वाले में यार योर बल्ब इज टचिंग द बॉटम सरफेस ऑफ द बीकर ना इफ यू आर मेजरिंग द लिक्विड टेम्परेचर यू वांट द बल्ब टू बी सराउंडेड बाय द लिक्विड द बल्ब शुड नॉट बी टचिंग द सरफेस ये तो गलत है सर जी गरोगे ये तो एकदम तो गलत कर रहा है ये तो लुक एट द सी The problem in C पता है क्या है यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेजर टेम्परेचर ऑफ द लिक्विड बट योर बल्ब इज एकदम ऑन द सर्फेस आधा ऊपर है आधा नीचे नहीं योर बल्ब शुड बी कंप्लीटली सराउंडेड बाय द लिक्विड सो C में क्या प्रॉब्लम है सर C वाला इज अब द लिक्विड इट इज नॉट प्रॉपरली डिप्ड इन द लिक्विड तो C में तो ये दिक्कत हो गया सर C इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग D वाला ने तो टेढ़ा रख दिया यार दिस गाय हैज केप्ट द थर्मोमीटर टेढ़ा Slanted, inclined. It should be straight. ये भी गलत हो गया. You will not get proper reading in this. This is good. Why? Sir, all the things have been taken care of. Bulb is also surrounded by liquid. Thermometer is straight. एकदम है ना? ठीक है? White सही है? ठीक है. ठीक है. अरे white रख देंगे यार. किसी बात करी तुमने? चलें आगे. चलो. तो ये हो गया. Correct answer would be option A. अरे वाह. Figure four point three. Shows a student reading a doctor thermometer. Which of the figure indicates the correct method of reading temperature? सबसे easy question है ये. Answer बता दो जरा. Correct method of reading therm uh, temperature. जल्दी. Manisha, slightly late but better late than never. कोई बात नहीं. A A A A. हाँ ठीक है. I'm keeping white white. Relax. A A A A A. Very good यार. भाई यहाँ पर क्या है? Sir. In B, the thermometer is straight up. It is, you have to keep it straight to avoid parallax error, है ना? Here also, here also, she is holding with the bulb. ये तो बहुत गलत है. पाप है ये. ठीक है? So this is not right. She is holding the thermometer with the bulb. Bulb से थोड़ी पकड़ते हैं. तो गलत है एकदम. है ना? तो ये तो गलत हो गया. ये भी गलत हो गया. ये भी गलत हो गया. Sir, ये ठीक है. 
you should hold the thermometer in the line of sight horizontal so that there is no error correct hai na very good kept at eye position are wah tez bachche ho tum log seventh question a b c d haan ji figure shows the readings on four different thermometer indicate which of the reading shows normal body temperature a b c d look at all four ekdam laddu question hai yes c mein kya fault hai navya c is at the bottom na right it should be at the eye level at the bottom there is a chance of error again come on see are very good normal body temperature bhai itna easy question hai itna bada bada marking ho rakha hai there is such a huge marking of 37 to show normal body temperature where is the reading sir c is okay are kitna easy question tha ye Seventh is okay. Arey, now we have very short answers. With this, we are done with heat also. Bye. कितना easy था heat. ठीक. चलो और देखते हैं. Next, let's do electric current and its effect कर लेते हैं. चलो. ठीक है. Motion and time में तुम लोगों को थोड़ा सा डर लगेगा because motion and time has some good questions. चलो जी. आजा आजा आजा. Come on, come on, come on. Arey, this is a very easy chapter. We won't spend time on this a lot. फर्स्ट वन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जल्दी हाँ पाप नहीं होना चाहिए बल्ब से नहीं पकड़ना थर्मामीटर ठीक है व्हेन एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फ्लोस थ्रू अ कॉपर वायर ए बी एस शोन इन फिगर द वायर फोर ऑप्शंस ऑल योर स्टेल मी द आंसर वी हैव मोर देन थ्री नवे यूर राइट टाइम ऑफ क्लास सुमन बच्चा टाइम ऑफ क्लास वुड बी टिल नाइन मैक्स सब बढ़िया बहुत अच्छे ए गंगा से ए कमान हेलो तनु आंसर 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 टून ए ए बी बी थ्री ए थ्री ए ए ए ए ए ए ए गुड अरे भाई वेन करंट फ्लोज थ्रू द कॉपर वायर वेन करंट फ्लोज थ्रू द कॉपर वायर द वायर सी बिकम्स रेड हॉट डिपेंड्स गारंटी नहीं है रेड हॉट होगा क्या यार एक बात बताओ इन योर होम सो मच वायर सारे रेड हॉट हो जाते हैं क्या नहीं सो रेड हॉट पक्का थोड़ी है गिज इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक ये क्या बात करते हो अगर बैटरी होगी छोटी सी इट्स वन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट बैटरी लेट से विल यू गेट अ शॉक नहीं सर बिहेव लाइक अ फ्यूज क्या आप बात करती कुछ भी मतलब हाँ बट वेन एवर देर इज अ करंट हाउ एवर स्मॉल मे बी करंट होगा और कितना ही छोटा होगा इट विल हैव मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज सो अ नीडल मैग्नेटिक नीडल विल बी डिफ्लेक्टेड सबसे सेंसिटिव टेस्टर होता है ये इफ यू रिमेंबर डू यू रिमेंबर दिस द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव टेस्टर इज द मैग्नेटिक टेस्टर थोड़ा सा करंट इट विल शो डिफ्लेक्शन यस और नो है ना कमॉन शिफाली यस ऑप्शन ए नवे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग बेटा सो वेन एवर वेन एवर अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फ्लोज If you keep a magnetic needle next to it, that is a compass, it will show deflection. Why? Because current, flowing current has magnetic properties. Who found it? Hans Christian Ørsted. Grade tenth, we have a full full chapter on this. ठीक है? Fine. बच्चा easy एकदम. चलो next question. Option A is the right answer by the way. Previous question का. Choose the statement which is not correct in the case of an electric fuse. Ah uh, ah, uh, not correct है. Not correct in the case of an electric fuse. Four options in front of you. Yes. अरे वाह अरे सिलियन मर्फी क्या बात है? Is it creating a magnetic field? Yes, it is creating. Black versus white. Black कर दो. Black करनी है क्या? Is it? चलो ठीक है. Next वाला black कर दूँगा. C C C C C Om Shanti. How to get notes? Bacha, link is in the description. There is a whole playlist created just for you, bacha. It is free also. Sare chapters hain. You just click on the grade. All the chapters, all the videos. I mean, important one-shot sessions of that chapter and notes and quiz. Ye sab kuch hai, yar. Come on. Science. Someone asked me this question. Black, you see, because you have light around it. अंधेरे कमरे में यू वोट सी ब्लैक नो वाई बिकॉज देर इज नो लाइट ये सी सी अरे वाह गुड यार एक बात बताओ चूज द स्टेटमेंट विच इज नॉट करेक्ट है ना ठीक है फ्यूजेस आर इंसर्टेड इन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट ऑफ ऑल बिल्डिंग्स 
तो ये तो दिस इज ट्रू यार फ्यूज इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स अ सेफ्टी डिवाइस तुम बोलोगे सर वॉट इफ वी यूज मिनी एम सी बी वॉट इफ वी यूज एम सी बी अरे यार डोंट बी ओवर स्मार्ट फ्यूज इज अ सेफ्टी डिवाइस इट शुड बी देयर इन ऑल बिल्डिंग दैट इज ट्रू ठीक है देर इज अ मैक्सिमम लिमिट ऑन द करंट विच कैन सेफली फ्लो थ्रू द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट ये भी बात सच है है ना देर इज अ टॉप लिमिट इससे ऊपर करंट नहीं जाना चाहिए करंट शुड नॉट फ्लो मोर देन दिस ना सो सर दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू वाई इफ करंट फ्लोज मोर देन दिस लिमिट अपलायसेज विल बी डैमेज यू वॉन्ट समन टू प्रोटेक्ट इट ना देर इज अमिनिमम लिमिट ऑन द करंट विच कैन सेफली फ्लो इन द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट आ देर इज नो लिमिट ऑन मिनिमम भाई वोल्टेज लो आती है तो थोड़ी फ्यूज उड़ जाता है नहीं है ना सो देर इज नो लिमिटेशन आई मीन इट्स नॉट गुड बट देर इज नो लिमिटेशन हमने लो वोल्टेज के लिए कुछ नहीं रखा पीपल कीप स्टेबलाइजर्स दैट इज डिफरेंट थिंग बट देर इज अ मिनिमम लिमिट नो फ्यूज डज नॉट टेक केयर ऑफ मिनिमम लिमिट फ्यूज ओनली टेक्स केयर ऑफ मैक्सिमम लिमिट तो भाई ये स्टेटमेंट फॉल्स है इफ अ प्रॉपर फ्यूज इज इंसर्टेड इन सर्किट इट विल ब्लो ऑफ इफ करंट एक्सीड द सेफ लिमिट यार ये भी ट्रू है सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर क्या बात थी इसमें है ना एकदम करेक्ट है ना लक्षेश आई जस्ट आंसर बेटा ब्लैक इसीलिए ब्लैक लगता है क्योंकि हर तरफ लाइट होती है इफ इफ यू रिमूव द लाइट यू कैन सी मी एज ब्लैक वाई बिकॉज देर इज व्हाइट अराउंड मी अगर मेरे आसपास भी ब्लैक हो जाए यू वॉन्ट सी एनी थिंग क्लियर हुई बात यस हेलो मनीषा दिस इज अ स्मॉल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन जस्ट टू प्रूव ये ब्लैक ब्लैक वाला क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑन योर स्क्रीन हाँ जी थर्ड क्वेश्चन देखो थ्री बल्ब ए बी सी यस मच मोर वाई बच्चा इलेक्ट्रिक फ्यूज सेफ्टी डिवाइस इट इज मेंट टू प्रिवेंट द ओवरफ्लो ऑफ करंट है ना यस अरे वाह हा करेक्ट यस हाँ ये तो है भाई अरे चिकना रखते हैं हम लोग कैसी बात कर रहे हो सी 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 गुड यार Three bulbs A, B, C are connected in a circuit as shown in figure. When the switch is on, first bulb C will glow first. Uh, second B and C will glow simultaneously. Bulb A will glow after some time. All the bulbs will glow at the same time. हाँ जी क्या बताओ? C. यार एक बात बताओ. When current flows in a circuit, is it does it mean current will start slowly, slowly like a train? Chuk 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 chuk. No. Current flows instantaneously. Everything in the circuit will work simultaneously. क्यों? भाई पूरे वायर में इलेक्ट्रॉन थे ऑलरेडी बस सबने चलना चालू कर दिया है यू कैन थिंक दिस होल वायर हैड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इस पूरे वायर में इलेक्ट्रॉन थे जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सेल ऑल ऑफ देम स्टार्टेड मूविंग इमेजिन फोर कार्स बैक टू बैक मान लो सिग्नल खुला चारों कारें चलना चालू कर देंगे ऐसा नहीं है पहली चलेगी आराम से फिर दूसरी चलेगी आराम से ठीक है क्लियर ये सॉर नो so correct answer would be all the bulbs will glow at the same time current does not take time hai na current aise chuk chuk nahi chalta current is instantaneous all three will glow at the same time correct hai na yes ha doubt for second part khushi second part which one this one or second question everybody bachcho if anyone has doubt in this question bachcha there is no minimum limit kisi pe minimum limit nahi hoti hai theek hai फ्यूज क्या है सेफ्टी डिवाइस है और ये चीज और अगर इससे ऊपर समझना है वन शॉट इज योर गो टू थिंग यस ठीक है ब्लो ऑफ मींस नहीं 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 खुशी बेटा ब्लो ऑफ मतलब टूट जाना है ना डैमेज हो जाना ब्लो ऑफ मतलब ब्लो ऑफ मतलब फूट जाना नहीं है नॉट एन एक्सप्लोजन ब्लो ऑफ मीन्स फ्यूज इज ब्लोन फ्यूज उड़ गया घर में नहीं बोलते अरे यार फ्यूज उड़ गया ब्लोन ऑफ इज उड़ गया दैट इज सेम थिंग ठीक है करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी ऑल द बल्ब ग्लो एट द सेम टाइम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अरे वाह बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है ये फोर्थ क्वेश्चन देखो जल्दी फटाफट फटाफट व्हेन अ स्विच इज इन ऑफ पोजीशन फोर ऑप्शंस मतलब फोर स्टेटमेंट्स सर्किट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द सेल स्टॉप्स एट द स्विच सेकंड सर्किट इज ओपन थर्ड नो करंट फ्लोज थ्रू इट लास्ट करंट फ्लोज आफ्टर सम टाइम मिल गए चार चार फोर स्टेटमेंट हा चूज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ करेक्ट आंसर हाँ जी कमान C C C C I don't know it is okay no C C C A I am getting one A but current flows from positive to negative ha that that is the direction but that that doesn't mean it starts from positive 
करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू नेगेटिव बट डजेंट मीन इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव इट इज थ्रू आउट द वायर इट फ्लोज टूगेदर गुड अरे सी ए सी ए घर में इफ यू से पंखा बंद कर दो जरा स्विच ऑफ कर देना सर्किट इज ओपन और क्लोज वेन यू स्विच ऑफ इट मीन सर्किट ओपन और सर्किट क्लोज यू टेल मी दैट फर्स्ट वेन यू टर्न द स्विच ऑफ इसका मतलब क्या होता है सर्किट इज ओपन और सर्किट इज क्लोज कम ऑन भाई इजी क्वेश्चन है ये सर्किट इज ओपन करंट विल नॉट फ्लो सर्किट ओपन है स्विच ऑफ करना मतलब क्या होता है सर्किट ओपन करना स्विच ऑन करना मतलब क्या होता है सर्किट क्लोज करना ये अपनी नॉर्मल भाषा दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद आर लोकल डायलेक्ट एंड साइंटिफिक लैंग्वेज स्विच ऑफ इज अ कॉमन वे ऑफ सेइंग बट व्हाट डू व्हाट डज इट मीन स्विच ऑफ मींस क्लोजिंग द सर्किट नाउ करंट विल फ्लो सो द स्विच इज इन ऑफ पोजीशन इट मींस सर्किट इज ओपन यस करंट विल नॉट फ्लो सो सेकंड इज करेक्ट व्हेन स्विच इज इन ऑफ पोजीशन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सर्किट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव तो गलत है ना भाई सर्किट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल सेल स्टॉप्स एट द सर्किट स्टॉप हो जाता है कैसी बातें कर रहे हो देखो स्विच का एक ही काम है स्विच जॉब इज टू स्टॉप द करंट इफ यू ओपन द स्विच करंट विल स्टॉप थ्रू आउट द सर्किट सर्किट ओपन हो गया इफ यू क्लोज द स्विच करंट विल फ्लो इन द होल सर्किट फाइन ठीक है सर्किट इज ओपन इज ट्रू फर्स्ट वन इज फॉल्स थर्ड वन नो करंट फ्लोज थ्रू इट अरे वाह सर दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू थर्ड इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट करंट फ्लोज आफ्टर सम टाइम फोर्थ रॉन्ग है तो यानी कि टू एंड थ्री इज करेक्ट नो है ना यस जल्दी बताओ टू एंड थ्री इज करेक्ट ट्रू और नॉट तो एक बार बताओ टू एंड थ्री कहा है सर ऑल आर करेक्ट गलत है ये तो टू एंड थ्री अरे वाह बी सही है फोर्थ ये भी गलत यू आर सेंग ओनली फोर इज करेक्ट यार इफ स्विच इज इन ऑफ पोजिशन हाउ विल करंट फ्लो आफ्टर सम टाइम स्विच ऑफ है ये नहीं कि थोड़ी देर बाद ऑन हो जाएगा अपने आप करेक्ट सो दैट्स वाई ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर यस और नो जल्दी बताओ वेरी इजी ना क्या हुआ सॉरी वॉरी बोल रहे क्या हो गया भाई बच्चा जल्दी बताओ क्लियर हो गया ना यस वेरी गुड यस आराध्य यू आर राइट एकदम बढ़िया मस्त क्वेश्चन है मजा आ गया बहुत बढ़िया मनीषा बच्चा इफ यू ओपन द स्विच सर्किट इज ओपन इट इज नॉट अ क्लोज पाथ मीन्स करंट विल स्टॉप दैट्स इट That is the job of a uh, switch. Switch is to make the circuit or break the circuit. Make the circuit, current will flow. Break the circuit, current will stop. That's it. Simple एकदम चलो आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ Next. Question number फाइव Which of the following precautions need not be taken while using electric gadgets, appliances or circuits? हां जी यू विल से सर फोर ऑप्शन का है I'll, I'll give you. Don't worry. भाई हा यस नाउ वी है फोर ऑप्शन फॉलोइंग प्रिकॉशन नीड नॉट बी टेकन इनको लेने की जरूरत नहीं है वाइल यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिक गैजेट्स अप्लायसेज सर्किट फर्स्ट वी शुड नेवर टच अ लाइटेड इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब कनेक्टेड टू द मेन्स ओके अरे वाह वेरी गुड ओह इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टिल भी प्रेजेंट यस यू आर राइट डी 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 कनिष्ठ आंसर चाहिए भाई आराध्या डी कुलदीप डी कृष्णा डी बी इज इट अरे सुनो ना विच ऑफ द प्रिकॉशन शुड नॉट बी टेकन कौन सी प्रिकॉशन नहीं लेनी चाहिए वी शुड नेवर टच अ लाइटेड इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब कनेक्टेड टू द मेन सी तो सही बात बोल रहा है यार सो दिस इज ट्रू ऐसे इफ अ बल्ब इज लाइटेड जाके टच थोड़ी करोगे दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रू सेकंड वी शुड नेवर एक्सपेरिमेंट विद द इलेक्ट्रिक सप्लाई फ्रॉम द मेंस और अ जनरेटर और इन्वर्टर भाई एक्सपेरिमेंट कहा करना है एक्सपेरिमेंट मतलब खेल करना दिस इज आल्सो ट्रू वी शुड नेवर यूज जस्ट एनी वायर और स्ट्रिप ऑफ मेटल इन प्लेस ऑफ फ्यूज ये तो कितनी बार बताया है वेन अ फ्यूज इज ब्लोन यू शुड नॉट जस्ट काम चलाने के लिए यू विल टेक एनी वायर एंड पुट इट इन द फ्यूज है ना ठीक है येस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू वी शुड नेवर टर्न द स्विच इन ऑन पोजिशन आह सर हम स्विच ही ऑन नहीं करेंगे नॉट नथिंग एकदम बढ़िया नो करंट नेवर येस आई टोल्ड यू इन वन शॉट बच्चा आई मीन दिस विल वर्क बट इट इज इम्प्रैक्टिकल 
अब जब तुमको स्विच ऑन ही नहीं करना है वाई आर यू लिविंग इन ऑल दिस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाला एरा यू आर बेटर सुटेड फॉर द एरा वेर नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉज देयर मस्त आग माग जलाओ तुम क्या दिक्कत कर रहे हो स्विच की क्या मतलब है तुमको राइट सो दैट्स वाई दिस डी वन इज रॉन्ग दैट इज वाई इट इज द करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट है ना डी होगा भाई सिंपल सी बात है राइट सो करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी डी हो गया अरे वाह हो गया भाई इलेक्ट्रिक करंट भी हो गया मूविंग ऑन टू आवर लास्ट चैप्टर मोशन एंड टाइम अच्छा देखो इसमें अच्छे क्वेश्चन है काफी एवरीबडी मोशन एंड टाइम में वी हैव सम रियली गुड क्वेश्चन लेट्स ट्राई द डार्क मोड फॉर दिस एक बार डार्क मोड करके देखते हैं ठीक है uh-huh. और डार्क और लाइट चलो यस यार विकेन आंसर आउट कमॉन दिस इज द लास्ट चैप्टर बढ़िया मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम पहला टपकता हुआ नल अ लीकिंग टैप सेकेंड सिंपल पेंडुलम थर्ड शेडो ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द डे लास्ट ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ आइस कम ऑन येस मच मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन आर प्रेजेंट बट दे आर मूविंग रैंडमली आफ्टर द सेल दे मूव इन द वन डायरेक्शन कम ऑन समझ नहीं आया समझ नहीं आया कौन सा येस क्वेश्चन समझ नहीं आया डोंट वरी आर एक्सप्लेन जेंसी दिस विल गो टिल नाइन थर्टी मैक्स येस दक्षेश बेटा लड़ाई नहीं करना ब्लॉक करना पड़ जाएगा प्लीज कमान अरे इट्स ओके इट्स ओके अरे रिलैक्स तुम लड़ाई करने में लग गया यार सुन लो यार प्लीज हाँ जी डी 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 हाँ गुड वेरी गुड अरे अ लीकिंग टैप व्हेन समवन सेज अ लीकिंग टैप व्हेन समवन सेज अ लीकिंग टैप दे मीन द प्रैक्टिकल सॉर्ट ऑफ अ लीकिंग टैप कैसे होता है तुम्हारे बाथरूम में अगर बाई चांस नल टपकता होगा हाउ डज इट लीक एंड नो बडी विल से सर इट लीक लाइक फुर दैट इज नॉट अ लीकिंग लीकिंग इज टप 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 इट्स पीरियोडिक है ना सो लीकिंग टैप यू यू वॉन्ट समथिंग पीरियोडिक सो योर आंसर वुड बी समझ नहीं आया अरे गीता रानी सुनो ना सुन तो लो बच्चा क्वेश्चन बोल रहा है मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम के लिए What is it that you cannot use? Time measurement के लिए what is the first requirement? You want something periodic, sir. What is periodic? Something which repeats itself after a fixed period of time. ठीक है? So अब ये बताओ. अभी just I told you leaking tap. It's sort of periodic, sir. Leaking tap I can use. Simple pendulum. यार simple pendulum तो we always use. घड़ी के अंदर क्या होता है? Grandfather clock. Tuck, 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 tuck. So that is simple pendulum. It is used. शेडो ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द डे ओल्ड टाइम्स में वी यूज टू यूज सन सन की वजह से शेडो ऑफ सन वॉज यूज इन सन डायल है ना सन डायल वॉज अज यूज टू सी टाइम है ना टू मेजर टाइम तो भाई शेडो ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द डे विल टेल यू टाइम यस दैट पॉसिबल सन डायल पर बेस्ड ऑन दिस है ना सन डायल बने थे इस पे सो so, ये भी सही है सन इज अ पीरियोडिक इवेंट करेक्ट है ना नाउ ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ आईज अब तुम्हारी ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ आईज इज इट पीरियोडिक इवेंट अब कोई ये नहीं बोलेगा सर आई विल ब्लिंक लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर ए ज्यादा स्मार्टिंग बनना सो ऑप्शन वुड बी डी क्लियर है एकदम फोर्टी आर थर्टी वेरी गुड यार दैट्स वेरी नाइस करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर बेटा नेक्स्ट ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एक और छोटा कर देते हैं हाँ जी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Two clocks A and B are shown in figure. Clock A has hour and a minute hand, है ना? Clock A has only बहुत बहुत अच्छा question है everybody listen to me very carefully. It's a beautiful question, must question है ये ध्यान से सुनो. Clock A has hour hand and a minute hand. Clock B has hour hand, minute hand and a second hand. ठीक है? Which of the following statement is correct for these clocks? पहला statement क्या बोल रहा है? A time interval of thirty second can be measured by clock A. You tell me first, is it true or false? 
ऑप्शन ए ट्रू और फॉल्स कमान बोले राम इट्स ओके इट्स ओके कमान पी फोकस फोकस इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन ए इज ट्रू और फॉल्स यू टेल मी फर्स्ट यू आर डी यस पूर्वी से यस सी फॉल्स सी फॉल्स डी फॉल्स थर्टी सेकेंड दिस फर्स्ट क्लॉक कैन इट मेजर थर्टी सेकेंड सर इट कैन नॉट वाई अरे उसके पास सेकेंड वाला डंडा ही नहीं है दैट क्लॉक डजेंट है सेकेंड हैंड हाउ विल यू टेल सेकेंड है ना सेकेंड यू कैन नॉट टेल सर मिनिमम वन मिनट आई कैन टेल एंड लुक दैट द क्लॉक मिनिमम हाउ मेनी मिनट्स यू कैन टेल एक्चुअली यू कैन टेल ओनली फाइव मिनट उसमें तो बीच के डंडे भी नहीं है सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्लॉक You cannot tell seconds. Why? You don't have a second hand. तो इसका मतलब सर ये तो गलत हो गया This is false. Second option. A time interval of 30 seconds cannot be measured by clock B. अरे भाई clock B has a second hand. है ना clock B के पास ये second hand है कौन सा second hand सर कच टक 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 That second hand clock B has. इट कैन मेजर 30 सेकेंड है ना उसमें आसान है 30 सेकेंड मेजर करना कैसे करोगे सर 12 से लेके 6 तक आने दो बस दैट इज 30 सेकेंड है ना सो सेकेंड वन कैन नॉट लिखा है सो इट इज फॉल्स थर्ड वन टाइम इंटरवल ऑफ फाइव मिनट कैन बी मेजर्ड बाय बोथ ए एंड बी दैट्स ट्रू आई टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट क्लॉक कैन मेजर मिनिमम ऑफ फाइव मिनट क्यों सर भाई पांच के अंदर तो रीडिंग ही नहीं है देर इज नो रीडिंग There is no reading within five minutes. So minimum amount of time which first clock can measure is five minutes, na, boy. तुमको क्या चाहिए? You want zero ambiguity. तुमको चाहिए, sir, मेरे को बिल्कुल भी risk नहीं लेने का है. तो तुम क्या बोलोगे? मेरे को चाहिए इस डंडे से लेके इस डंडे तक I can measure, है ना? I can I can measure from two markings, but in between I don't have any marking. How will I tell something? So that is why minimum time would be five minutes. ये जो है ना ये पांच मिनट कर सकता है दिस वॉज ऑल्सो कैन मेजर पांच मिनट भाई बोथ हैव अ मिनट हैंड तो दोनों के लिए सही है ये बोथ कैन डू दिस करेक्ट है ना यस सुभाष वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड चलो कुमार कुमार जल्दी बताओ सो दैट्स वाई ऑप्शन सी इज ट्रू ये फॉल्स है ये फॉल्स है लास्ट वाला सी क्लियर हुआ यस yes. अरे सी क्लियर हुआ जल्दी बताओ अब्दुल आंसर चाहिए आंसर टाइम इंटरवल ऑफ फोर मिनट्स टेन सेकेंड कैन बी मेजर बाई क्लॉक ए फोर मिनट्स इन टेन सेकेंड क्या बात कर दी सर आउट ऑफ सिलेबस हो गया ये तो फोर मिनट्स क्लॉक वन कैन नॉट टेन सेकेंड क्लॉक वन कैन नॉट ये बोल रहा है बाई क्लॉक ए नहीं यार तो फॉल्स है सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी येस और नो क्लियर हुआ एवरीबडी अरे तुम फोकस करो यार टू शॉर्ट इज दिस क्लियर और नॉट आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन फर्स्ट क्लॉक हैज ओनली अ मिनट हैंड एंड अ आर हैंड ठीक सेकेंड क्लॉक हैज सेकेंड हैंड ऑल्सो मिनट हैंड ऑल्सो एंड आर हैंड ऑल्सो यानी कि पहली वाली क्लॉक तो सेकेंड मेजर ही नहीं कर सकती है ना वॉट इज अ मिनिमम इट कैन मेजर फाइव मिनट क्यों सर वन मिनट के लिए तो रीडिंग ही नहीं है यू वॉन्टेड रीडिंग ना वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव तब बोलते अब बीच का रीडिंग तो है नहीं तो मिनिमम यू कैन टेल फाइव मिनट फाइव मिनट कब बोलोगे You will say फाइव मिनट when this hand will reach over here. तुम बोलोगे सर पांच मिनट हो गया यह पता है मेरे को उसके बीच में आई कांट टेल एनी थिंग दैट इज वाई फर्स्ट क्लॉक कैन मेजर फाइव मिनट प्रॉपरली सेकेंड क्लॉक कैन मेजर फाइव मिनट प्रॉपरली वाई दोनों के पास मिनट का हैंड है ठीक और दोनों के पास मार्किंग भी सही है दैट इज वाई सो फाइव मिनट इज समथिंग बोथ ऑफ दिन कैन मेजर प्रॉपरली पहली वाली घड़ी कैन नॉट मेजर सेकेंड फर्स्ट घड़ी कैन नॉट मेजर लेस देन फाइव मिनट फाइन एकदम बढ़िया यस Something difficult, Sony. This is the level of your exam, bacha. For difficult, I will do Anthe. I will do Olympiad. But now it's exam season, na? So that's why. Okay. Exemplar is supposed to be difficult only. If you feel it is easy, means you are very very pro. Okay. Come on. Question number three. ध्यान से देखो जरा. Question number three. Just have a look at the tables and the graph. Just watch this much. I'll ask you question. एवरीवन क्वेश्चन बेटा अच्छे हैं ये दीज आर योर एग्जाम लेवल क्वेश्चंस एग्जाम इससे टफ नहीं आता है कभी भी यस yes, है ना नाइस है वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट चैप्टर गंगा नेक्स्ट विल बी केमिस्ट्री कमान पीपल जल्दी बताओ है ना आम गुड आम गुड लुक एट द टू टेबल्स एंड लुक एट द ग्राफ 
two students were asked to plot a distance time graph for the motion described by table A and table B. Table A dekho, table B dekho aur graph dekho. Ab ek baar batao. This graph is of table A or table B? This graph is of table A or table B? Yes. Haan. Next academy gear, bacha. Don't worry. We'll tell you everything. Come on. Black screens at Ado. Black screens. Achha, okay. Achha, lo, hai. Black screens at Ado. Tumbi ke aad karoge. Let's take the white one. Tum white le lo. Hanji. Look at table A and B and look at the graph. This graph is of table A or table B? Table A or table B? Yes. Table A, table A. Full marks, na? Bhoat badiya, bhoat badiya. A, 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 B, 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 B. Achha, I'll give you one more option. Table A, table B, or both? Good. Navya, very good. Bacha, both. Dhyan se dekho, yaar. Sir, in table A, at zero, I have zero. In table B, at zero, I have zero. Okay, so zero pe zero is fine. Let's check two, hai na? Two pe, two pe table A has ten meters. Two pe I have ten meters. Okay, sir. What about here? On one it has five and two pe it has ten. Table B is saying two pe ten to hai, but one pe five bhi hai. One, five. Sahi hai na? Check out. Sir, 4 pay 20. 4 pay 20. Good. 4 pay 20. Aray, wah. Sir, that is also there. But 3 pay 15. To, ye to mili jayega na? So, this graph is of both the tables. This graph is of both the tables. Dhyan se dekho. Ye graph dono table ka hai, bachcha. 4 pay 20 hai, 4 pay 20 hai. 2 pay 10 hai, 2 pay 10 hai. Sir, beach ke ka hai? Aray, it's a straight line. So, you will get, tumko mil jayega. Sir, 1 pay, 5 you will get from here. On 3, you will get 15. For sure. Thik hai? Fine. Yes. Bacha, entertainment for kids, listen to me. Ha. If, look at both the tables. Na. Or at 2, it has 10. At 2, it has 10. At 4, it has 20. At 4, it has 20. Correct. Second wala table pay, there is just one difference. Sir, one one step extra hai. In table A, you are going 0 to 2 minutes, 2 to 4 minutes. In table B, you are going 0 to 1 minute, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to, uh, 3 to 4. In table A, distance is increasing 0 to 10, 10 to 20. In table B, distance is increasing 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, between 20. Aray, same hai dono. So, table is same. Dhyan se dekho agar. Correct hai na? Yes. Fine. Graph is used, bacha, everywhere. Graph is very important thing. So, graph given in figure is true for both A and B. Correct answer will become option A. Clear ho gaya? Haan. Yes. Thik hai? Chalo, aa gaya. Question 4. Aray, wah. Aray. Yaar, question 4 bhoat easy hai. Jaldi kar do answer. Fata, fata answer chahiye, bhai. Question number 4 ka. Question number 4. A bus travels 54 kilometers in 90 minutes. The speed of the bus is kitna? Yes. Aray, ye jalla white kar do, black kar do. Aray, hello, Sindhu. Yes, Dakshish. Come on, people. Aray, white theek hai, yaar. Koi baat nahi. Let's do it. It's okay, Purvi. <laughs> Sony, I know. Relax. A bus travels 54 kilometers in 90 minutes. The speed of bus is kitna? A, B, C, D. I'm getting A as answer. A, 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 D, 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 A, A, B, B. Yes. Rajnandana, you can, bacha. Guys, solve na. Bus travels 54 kilometers in 90 minutes. Speed kitna hota? Sir, speed is distance upon time. But look at the options. Meter per second, meter per second, meter per second, meter per second. So what do you want? You want 54 kilometers in meters. 54 kilometer multiplied by 1000. Then of the it will be meter. Hai na? Upar kar do meter. So this is your meter. Upon 
नाइनटी मिनट्स कन्वर्ट इंटू सेकेंड इंटू सिक्सटी दिस इज सेकेंड अब क्या सोल्व करना है यार तुमको और क्या मैथ है सर टू जीरो इजी क्वेश्चन था यस ब्रेक मसूद विल टेक ब्रेक आफ्टर फिजिक्स डोंट वरी आई गिव यू अ ब्रेक कृति मैम विल ज्वाइन आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स डोंट वरी ठीक है चलो भाई चलो आ गया फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन If we denote speed by s, distance by d, and time by t, अरे यार ये तो क्वेश्चन ही गड़बड़ है बच्चों नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में तो ऑप्शन ही मिसिंग है तो फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इनवैलिड हो गया यस yes. अरे हिमशाल कोई बात नहीं बेटा वाइट इज ऑल्सो फाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पे आओ एवरीबॉडी ऑब्जर्व फिगर अच्छा क्वेश्चन है ये ध्यान से हा ऑब्जर्व फिगर थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री The time period of a simple pendulum is the time taken by it to travel from. Come on, yes. अरे सुबेश ले लिया बेटा. Half white, half black. Time period of a simple pendulum is the time taken by it to travel from. I have explained this multiple times. जो लोग regular हैं उनको पता होगा बड़े आराम से. Yes. Hello, Anchal. Welcome. Come on, people. Entertainment for kids. बच्चा, this is. इन गूगल राइट एग्जाम्पलर एनसीआर टी यू विल गेट अ लिंक सब वही मिलेगा बी डी खुशी से बी डेमन किंग बी मानवी ए नव्या डी अजना डी कुलदीप रमेश ए पायल बी समृद्धि ए ओके सुनो देखो यू वॉन्ट टाइम पीरियड टाइम पीरियड के लिए क्या चाहिए सर अ पेंडुलम शुड कम बैक टू इट्स Original position, है ना? That is called as one oscillation. And time for one oscillation is the time period. सच बात है, है ना? तो अब एक बार बताओ, ये बोल रहा है a to b and back to a. Sir, a to b and back to a. This is one oscillation, है ना? This is one oscillation. So sir, this looks good. Second, दूसरा क्या बोल रहा है? Sir, o to a, then a to b, and b to a. ना It should be B to O, not B to A. तो ये तो गलत हो गया. Getting my point? O to A, A to B, B to O should be the right answer, not B to A. गलत हो गया ये तो. ठीक है. B is gone. Third, B to A, B to A, A to B and B to O. अरे यार. फिर गलत हो गया. सर ये तो गड़बड़ एकदम. So this is also wrong. This is also wrong. A to B. अरे A to B is half oscillation यार. This is also wrong. So correct answer would be option A. Clear हो गया. What is one oscillation? बच्चा A is the right answer. Ravi Kant, D is half oscillation. You want the pendulum to come back to its own original position, है ना? A to B and B to A is right. One oscillation is a four-step process. A to O, O to B, B to O, O to A. ठीक है? इसको बोलते हैं four-step process. By the way, we have a question on this. Clear है? Yes. Everybody. ठीक है? चलो आओ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक और एक और क्वेश्चन है भाई ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन गुड क्वेश्चन फिगर शोज एन ऑसिलेटिंग पेंडुलम ठीक है अलग अलग पॉइंट दिए हुए हैं टाइम टेकन बाय द बॉब टू मूव फ्रॉम ए टू सी इज टी वन भाई ए टू सी द टाइम इज टी वन फ्रॉम सी टू ओ इज टी टू टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस सिंपल पेंडुलम इज हाउ मच Nice question. Come on. C, 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 C. Ends on mean position. No, now it depends. If it starts from mean position, it can, it will have to end on mean position. Yes. Hanji. Ha. D, 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 D. Are wa. Nice, bacho. I explained this to you. One oscillation you can take as a four-step process. If you start from this side, one, two, three, four. Four step. If you start from center, one, two, three, four. Four step. If you start from here, one, two, three, four. It's a four-step process, है ना? So and every step time taken is equal. So this question is saying A to C is some time, C to O is some time, but A to C is one fourth of the total steps, है ना? 
तो टोटल टाइम कितना लगेगा सर ए टू सी में जो टाइम लगा वट एवर टाइम इट टू किन गोइंग फ्रॉम ए टू सी फोर टाइम्स ऑफ दैट सिंपल है ना यस yes. तो ए टू ओ जाने में टाइम लगा टी वन प्लस टी टू एंड ए टू ओ इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स ना फोर स्टेप प्रोसेस है ए टू ओ तो अभी वन फोर्थ ही है मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर करो सो फोर इंटू टी वन प्लस टी टू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट है ना हाँ मैंने बताया था एक लेक्चर में क्लियर सो करेक्ट आंसर विड बी ऑप्शन डी यार ये बड़ा प्यारा क्वेश्चन था ए क्वेश्चन नंबर एट बताना जरा This eighth is like very 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 easy question. Eighth question, correct symbol to represent the speed of object is what? You can't understand, beta. Oscillation, one oscillation is a four step process. If you take from here, one step extreme mean extreme mean. ठीक है? Otherwise check out the one shot. यार ये सब पढ़ा रखा है मैंने और हजारों बार पढ़ा रखा है. Come on यार. Yes. A A A A A for the A A nice meter per second क्या बात कर दी सर आपने इतना easy question हमारी तोहीन हो रही है very good this is correct ninth Bujo walks to his school which is at a distance of three kilometers from his home in thirty minutes ठीक है On reaching, he finds that the school is closed and comes back by a bicycle with his friend and reaches home in 20 minutes. His average speed in kilometer per hour. Good question, not a difficult question, but very very commonly asked exam question. ये बड़ा common exam question है. Answer चाहिए फटाफट. Yes. Come on. Yes. Nakshesh, all the videos are there on the channel, बच्चा. Come on. C C C C C C C. No, it's much more. The playlist is given to you. Very good. See ya. Huh? Bacho, you know the basic formula. I am hoping you know the basic formula. Kya hai? Sir, average speed is asked. No. Average speed is equal to total distance upon total time. What is the total distance? Bujo goes to school. 3 kilometer. Comes back. 3 kilometer. राइट टोटल डिस्टेंस विल बी थ्री प्लस थ्री है ना ही गोज टू स्कूल टेक्स थर्टी मिनट कम्स बैक टेक्स ट्वेंटी मिनट्स गोइंग में ही टुक थर्टी मिनट्स कमिंग में ही टुक ट्वेंटी मिनट्स व्हाट डू यू वांट यू वांट एवरेज स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आर बट टाइम यू हैव इन मिनट्स कन्वर्ट इन टू आवर्स टोटल टाइम टेकन इज हाउ मच थर्टी प्लस मिनट्स भाई टोटल टाइम कितना है सर थर्टी प्लस मिनट्स Convert into hours. So three plus three upon fifty divided by sixty. So what are you getting? Six into sixty upon fifty. Fifty? हाँ fifty. क्या आया? Six six thirty six thirty six upon five. Uh, कितना आ जाएगा? Seven five thirty five seven point five kilometer plus hour. Seven point five kilometer per hour. Sorry seven point five नहीं यार seven point two. Thirty six है ना? Seven point two किलोमीटर पर आर एवरीबॉडी 7.2 किलोमीटर पर आर एंड हाउ आर यू गेटिंग सी तुम्हारा सी कैसे आ रहा था भाई टोटल डिस्टेंस 3 किलोमीटर प्लस 3 किलोमीटर हो गया ठीक है टोटल डिस्टेंस इज डन टोटल टाइम इज हाउ मच सर 30 मिनट्स प्लस 20 मिनट्स 50 मिनट्स टोटल टाइम बट यू वांट स्पीड इन किलोमीटर पर आर राइट नाउ यू हैव किलोमीटर पर मिनट कन्वर्ट मिनट टू आर दैट्स इट यार है ना यस करेक्ट थैंक यू राज People easy, चलो आओ next. Oh, oh my God, we are done. We are done, folks. With this, physics is finished. ठीक है? With this, we are done with physics, and next would be chemistry. But before that, I am going to give you what? For chemistry, before that, I am going to give you a five minute break. ठीक है, फाइव मिनट ब्रेक और 9 पीएम विल स्टार्ट 9 पीएम विल स्टार्ट एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग टुडे आई विल ट्रांसफर टू कृति मैम आई नो इट इज गेटिंग लेट बट हाफ एन आवर मोर एंड विल बी सॉर्टेड केमिस्ट्री में तीन चैप्टर हैं छोटे छोटे से है ना बहुत बढ़िया से हो जाएगा फ्रेश हो गया फटाफट है ना आई नो डिनर टाइम हो रहा है बट नाइन विल बी डन पानी वानी पी लो फटाफट फ्रेश हो गया है ना विल स्टार्ट एट नाइन पीएम और फिर करेंगे केमिस्ट्री 
सो एवरीबॉडी लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब और प्लेलिस्ट दिया हुआ है उसका इस्तेमाल करो बाय द वे शॉर्ट डॉट बाईज पे सरप्राइज है आई एल टेल यू कल बताता हूँ तुमको मैं ठीक है है ना एवरीबॉडी सी यू टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय
वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल बाई जूस कैसा चल रहा है सेशन हाउ इज इट गोइंग ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन इन वन को ग्रेट सेवन स्टूडेंट ये तो कितना अच्छा प्रैक्टिस सेशन है एंड आई वॉज नोटिस इन द चैट मेनी ऑफ यू आर गिविंग द राइट आंसर जबकि एग्जाम्पल का लेवल एट टाइम्स कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चन में बहुत अच्छा होता है बट अगर बेस अच्छा है अगर फाउंडेशन अच्छा है एनसीआरटी का तो एग्जाम्पल भी आसानी से सॉल्व हो जाती है इजेंट इट हाउ वॉज बायोलॉजी हाउ वॉज फिजिक्स थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर ऑल द लवली विशेज थैंक यू सो मच इट वॉज वेरी गुड हाँ सो बायोलॉजी एंड फिजिक्स दोनों के एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन सारे के सारे ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन ग्रेट सेवन स्टूडेंट्स आपने अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस कर लिए हैं Now it's time to get started with chemistry. डर लग रहा है कि ये भी कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ करने वाले हो आई एम डूइंग रियली वेल थैंक यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एब्सोलूटली फाइन येस मैम येस मैम फुल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस अरे वाह ऑसम नो डर अरे एक्चुअली तीनों चैप्टर्स जो आ रहे हैं आपके एसिड बेसिस फिजिकल केमिकल चेंजेस बेस वॉटर तीनों ही बड़े क्यूट से चैप्टर्स हैं We'll start with acid bases, but before I get started, before I dive straight into it, एक फटाफट से green signal दे दो so that I know कि आपको सब कुछ visible है screen clearly visible है मैं clearly visible हूँ मैं clearly audible हूँ so that we can get started. Yes, ma'am, डर के आगे जीत है is it now, Vya? <laughs> अरे तुम लोग डरोगे ही नहीं इतने cute questions हैं <coughs> मुझे लग रहा है कि बिफोर आई रीड द क्वेश्चन ना यू स्टार्ट गिविंग मी द आंसर्स इन द चैट आई डोंट नो फॉर सम रीजन आई फील दिस हेलो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम तो बेटा ग्रेड नाइन में है ग्रीन सिग्नल क्विक थम्स अप लेट मी नो दैट यू कैन सी मी हियर मी आपको एसिड बेसिस सॉल्व विजिबल है द स्क्रीन इज क्लियर द क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर येस क्विक क्विक थम्स अप इन द चैट आर एन ने तो दे दिया थम्स अपट येस मैम इवन एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन यूर ऑडिबल यूर विजिबल द क्वेश्चन आर विजिबल करे स्टार्ट करे ऑसम चलिए फिर स्टार्ट करते हैं आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द थम्स अप कम ऑन ग्रेट सेवन स्टूडेंट्स फटाफट से एंड आई नो सिक्स ओ क्लॉक से आप बैठे हो सिक्स ओ क्लॉक से आपका सेशन चल रहा है आप कॉन्स्टेंटली मेहनत कर रहे हो बट ट्रस्ट मी मेहनत वेस्ट नहीं जाएगी इतनी मेहनत जो आप कर रहे हो इतना हार्डवर्क जो आप पुट कर रहे हो इसमें यू विल पास द एग्जाम विथ फ्लाइंग कलर्स यू विल गेट रियली गुड मार्क्स वॉट एवर हार्डवर्क यू पुटिंग इन आपको बाद में लगेगा थैंक गॉड मैंने इतनी मेहनत कर ली Awesome, chaliye. So let's get started with the very first chapter, very colorful chapter, acid bases and salts. And let's start with the first question. So, question number one. Everyone, we are on to question number one now. The correct way of making a solution of acid in water is to Add water to acid. Add acid to water. Mix acid and water simultaneously. Add water to acid in a shallow container. क्या करेंगे हम इसमें बताइए What are we going to do? Okay, just give me a second. Yeah. Everybody is saying answer is going to be option A. A A A. Some of you saying B B B. Nobody is saying C. Oh, some of you saying C also. Some of you saying D also. Option E nahi tha. Otherwise, some of you would have said E also. Chalo. So, pehle question se hi kuch sikhne ko milne wala hai. Let's get started. Correct answer. Most acha. Ab E likh rahe ho. वेरी फनी 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 कमेंट्स करते हो ऑप्शन ई भी आ रहे हैं चैट में जो है ही नहीं ओके करेक्ट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन बी आपको जब भी एसिड और वाटर को मिक्स करना है हमेशा हम एसिड को 
वॉटर में एड करेंगे कैसे याद रखेंगे ये ए लेटर कम्स बिफोर डब्ल्यू पर इसका लॉजिक क्या ये तो ये तो लर्न करने का तरीका हो गया ए लेटर कम्स बिफोर डब्ल्यू तो एसिड को वॉटर में एड करेंगे ये तो लर्न करने का तरीका बट इसका रीजन क्या है ये जो प्रोसेस है ना इसमें बहुत ज्यादा क्या रिलीज होती है हीट रिलीज होती है इस प्रोसेस को हम एक्सोथर्मिक प्रोसेस कहते हैं मतलब अ लॉट ऑफ हीट इज रिलीज इन द प्रोसेस बहुत ज्यादा हीट रिलीज होती है इस प्रोसेस में तभी एसिड को वाटर में जब हम ऐड करते हैं हमें बहुत स्लोली करना होता है वी डू इट वेरी स्लोली विथ कॉन्स्टेंट स्टरिंग सो ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप वी एड एसिड टू वॉटर एंड वी कीप स्टरिंग सो दैट देर इज नो स्प्लैशिंग देर इज नो एक्सप्लोजन एंड बेसिकली द ग्लास कंटेनर ड ब्रेक ठीक है इज दिस क्लियर is the first question clear to all of you quick thumbs up i can see some of you saying yes ma'am the ones who said we'll add water to acid no beta we will always add acid to water very slowly drop by drop with constant stirring so option b is the correct answer theek hai chaliye good Moving on to the next question. Products of a neutralization reaction are always what? इसका आंसर क्या होगा क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नाउ सो नाउ वी आर ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट आर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन एसिड एंड बेस एसिड एंड सॉल्ट सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर सॉल्ट एंड बेस सो क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट यू थिंक इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर सी 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 एवरीबडी इन द चार्ट इज सेंग ऑप्शन सी बिल्कुल सही बात है acid reacts with the base to give us salt and water acid aur base kya hue hamare reactants hue jo aapas mein react kar rahe hain salt and water kya hua hamara product hua kya hue hamare products when of course a lot of heat is also released a heat heat bhi aap dekhoge release ho rahi hai thank you all of you so क्वेश्चन नंबर टू करेक्ट आंसर क्या होने वाला है ऑप्शन सी सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर आर गोइंग टू बी द प्रोडक्ट्स सेम क्वेश्चन में रिएक्टेंस बोलते हैं अगर तो एसिड और बेस हो जाता ठीक है चलिए एंजलिना दैट इल कम इन ग्रेट टेन ओके नहीं नहीं ये मत पीना ठीक है चलिए Moving on to question number थ्री now. Now we are on to question number थ्री Everyone, I want to see the same answer in the chat. थोड़े यूनानिमस आंसर तो रैपिड फायर की तरह सॉल्व करेंगे हम इसे ठीक है मैम आई डोंट हैव ओके फाइबर टू फाइबर कोई बात नहीं दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर जो ग्रेट टेन में फिर से आना है Turmeric is a natural indicator on adding its base to acid and base separately. Which colors would be observed? कौन से colors observe होने वाले हैं मुझे दिख रहा है कि everybody in the chat is voting for option B. B B B B B. गागना कुलकर्णी just refresh once बेटा Very good, very good. The correct answer actually it's going to be option B only. अब हमारा turmeric क्या है एक नेचुरल इंडिकेटर इंडिकेटर का क्या काम है टू इंडिकेट द कलर चेंज इन एसिड एक बेसिक मीडियम सो इट स्टेज येलो इन एसिड एंड इन न्यूट्रल आल्सो न्यूट्रल में भी इट इज येलो ओनली बट इन अ बेस इट टर्न्स रेड ठीक है सो आई होप यहां तक क्लियर है मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर कितने सिंपल डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन है इजेंट इट Phenolphthalein is a synthetic indicator and its colors in acidic and basic solutions respectively are. देखो direct question दिया हुआ है color change. अब phenolphthalein एक man made indicator है synthetic मतलब man made indicator. अब red blue हो जाएगा blue red हो जाएगा pink colorless हो जाएगा colorless pink हो जाएगा क्या हो जाएगा फटाफट से बताएंगे सी डी सी डी ए भी कोई नहीं कह रहा सब सी डी में कंफ्यूज हो रहे हैं बहुत बच्चे सी कह रहे हैं बहुत बच्चे डी कह रहे हैं सोचो फिनोपथलीन का कलर चेंज आपको पहले एसिडिक मीडियम में बताना है फिर बेसिक मीडियम में 
the ones who are getting confused between C and D. देखो रेड ब्लू ब्लू रेड ये तो लिटमस के कलर्स हो गए ना तो ये दोनों ऑप्शन तो आप वैसे ही रूल आउट कर सकते हो तो लिटमस के साथ कलर चेंज होता है फिर नॉर्थलीन सी डी में से आप बताओ आई हेव मेड योर टास्क लिटिल इजी चलिए बताएंगे वेरी गुड ऑप्शन डी कलरलेस इन एसिड्स एंड पिंक इन बेसिस सो लेट्स से अगर मैंने ये लेमन जूस के साथ ट्राई किया होता इसमें सिट्रिक एसिड है तो ये कलरलेस रहता बट अगर मैंने इसे किसी बेस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड के साथ ट्राई किया होता तो लाइट पिंक कलर आ जाता इट वुड हैव टर्न टू पिंक सो द वन हुआ मार्किंग ऑप्शन सी आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वे यू मेड अ मिस्टेक एवरी वन इन द चार टेल मी वन थिंग वर्ड अबाउट द कलर ऑफ नॉर्थलीन इन न्यूट्रल मीडियम अगर न्यूट्रल मीडियम होता तो क्या कलर होता अगर मीडियम न्यूट्रल होता देन वॉट वुड हैव बीन द कलर चेंज मैम आर सोल्स ऑलवेज न्यूट्रल नो मानवी सोल्स आर नॉट ऑलवेज न्यूट्रल बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन न्यूट्रल मीडियम वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द कलर ऑफ एन ऑथलीन कलर लेस वेरी गुड चलिए मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव नाउ वेन द सॉइल इज टू एसिडिक प्लांट्स टू नॉट ग्रो वेल इन इट टू इंप्रूव इट्स क्वालिटी वॉट मस्ट बी एडेड टू द सॉइल क्या एड करेंगे ऑर्गेनिक मैटर करेंगे Quick lime, slake lime, calamine solution. What are you going to add? You are given that the soil is basic. See, plants grow in neutral soil. They grow best in neutral soil. Most of the plants and crops. ठीक है? अगर बहुत ज़्यादा acidic है, basic होता है, तो growth नहीं हो पाती. अगर basic है, तो अब आप क्या add करेंगे? Well done, very good. Organic matter add करेंगे. मतलब आप manure add कर सकते हैं. कंपोस्ट ऐड कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो ऑर्गेनिक मैटर क्या है इट्स डिराइव फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ये क्या करते हैं दे रिलीज एसिड्स क्या करते हैं एसिड्स रिलीज करते हैं अगर सॉइल बेसिक है उसे न्यूट्रलाइज करने के लिए वी वुड रिक्वायर सम एसिडिक सब्सटेंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर वाई आर वी नॉट यूजिंग क्विक लाइन वॉट इज क्विक लाइन इट्स कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड इट्स बेसिक Slate lime is calcium hydroxide. It is also basic. Calamine, zinc carbonate. It is also basic. So, ये तीनों तो rule out हो गए. Correct answer is going to be option A. Yes, Raj. Good, Kuldeep. ठीक है? Clear? चलिए. Let's move on. to the next question now so question number 6 everyone it's there on the screen you are going to tell me the answer litmus a natural dye is an extract of which of the following china rose beetroot lichen blueberries kitna cute sa question hai very nice वेरी गुड एवरीबडी सेंग मैम लाइक एन बिल्कुल सही लिटमस है कि एक पर्पल डाई है है ना दिस पर्पल डाई आप देखोगे आपके लैब में वो सोल्यूशन फॉर्म में भी अवेलेबल है स्ट्रिप्स की फॉर्म में भी अवेलेबल है इट टर्न रेड इन द एसिडिक मीडियम ब्लू इन द बेसिक वन सो इट्स एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम लाइक वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन is the reaction that's happening between an acid and a base now is this a physical or a chemical change reversible or irreversible change so question number 7 what do you think is going to be the correct answer bataiye ma'am please take my name everyone come on rapid fire ki tarah abhi hum kar rahe hain na to quickly quickly answers hum denge abhi let's let's not focus on shout outs let's focus on getting the answer right as quickly as possible Question number seven. The best part is everybody is giving the answer in a unanimous manner. How will we get to know whether something is neutral or acidic? Let's say they give the same color. When ophthalene colorless and neutral, maybe acidic, maybe what you can do is you can use some other indicator. Or, जैसे आपको पता चल गया कि basic solution कौन सा है? अब उस बेसिक सोल्यूशन को अगर आप एसिडिक और न्यूट्रल दोनों में प्लेस करोगे किसी एक में क्या हो जाएगा 
न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन हो जाएगा जो एसिडिक वाला होगा तो वहां से आपको पता चल जाएगा ठीक है एवरी वन एवरी वन इज से इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन डी वेरी गुड इट्स अ केमिकल चेंज वी आर रिएक्टिंग एन एसिड विद बेस टू फॉर्म सोल्ट एंड वॉटर सो टू न्यू प्रोडक्ट आर बींग फॉर्म विद इंटायरली डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज सो इट्स अ केमिकल चेंज एंड ऑफकोर्स फ्रॉम सोल्ट एंड वॉटर यू कैनॉट गिव बैक द एसिड एंड द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग बेस so for seventh question option d is the correct answer chaliye moving on to question number 8 now a solution changes the color of turmeric indicator from yellow to red i mean if you know the colors you can manage all the questions a solution changes the color of turmeric indicator from yellow to red the solution is what acidic basic neutral neutral or acidic kya hoga red ho raha hai color change चलिए वेरी गुड इट्स गोइंग टू बी बेसिक टर्मरिक हमारा जो इंडिकेटर है वो कलरलेस सॉरी वो येलो ही रहता है न्यूट्रल और एसिडिक में इट इज गोइंग टू स्टे येलो इन न्यूट्रल और एसिडिक बट इन बेस इज इट टर्न रेड ओके वेरी गुड चलिए Moving on to question number नाइन now. Which of the following set of substances contain acids? इनमें से आपको बता दें कि acids किस किस में present है Grapes, lime water, vinegar, soap, curd, milk of magnesia, curd, vinegar. When they say acids You need to check both the substances that are being given to you. Don't know substance check karna. Are you people are awesome? Everybody is giving the correct answer. Very good. Option D correct. देखो भाई आराम से देखते हैं. Grapes में क्या है? Tartaric acid. ठीक है. But lime water क्या है? Calcium hydroxide which is a base. So ruled out. विनेगर में क्या है एसिटिक एसिड ठीक है सोप में क्या है सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड और पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विच आर बेसिस रूल्ड आउट कर्ड में क्या है लैक्टिक एसिड मिल्क ऑफ मैग्नीशियस मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विच इज अ बेस रूल्ड आउट कर्ड में लैक्टिक एसिड विनेगर में एसिटिक एसिड सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो आई टोल्ड यू ऑल दसिड्स ऑल्सो ओके Very good. Yes, curd and vinegar would contain acids. Question number ten. Now, everyone, try this out. Question number ten. On adding phenolphthalein indicator to a colorless solution, no change is observed. What is the nature of this solution? No, Khushi. Lime water is calcium hydroxide, beta. और लाइम जब हम बोलते हैं ना यूजुअली हम क्विक लाइम को बोल देते हैं विच इज कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड दैट इज आल्सो बेसिक थैंक यू राज गौरव दैट सॉरव सर विल टेल यू एवरीबडी सेइंग इट्स ऑप्शन सी अच्छा आप लोगों ने सॉल्व भी कर दिया चलो बिल्कुल सही ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फिनोथलीन एसिडिक या फिर न्यूट्रल मीडियम में कलरलेस रहता है बेसिक में क्या हो जाता है लाइट पिंग Moving on to question number इलेवन Which of the following is an acid base indicator? इनमें से acid base indicator कौन सा है Vinegar, lime water, turmeric, baking soda. बताइए ये तो बहुत ही क्यूट सा क्वेश्चन है आई हाउ टू लर्न एलिमेंट फॉर्मुले ओम दैट विल कवर इन ग्रेड नाइन बेटा ठीक है उसका एसिड बेसिस से अभी कुछ लेना देना नहीं एवरीबडी सिंग इट्स ऑप्शन सी वेरी गुड इट्स ऑप्शन सी ओनली देखो विनेगर तो एसिडिक है लाइम वॉटर बेसिक सब्सटेंस है बेकिंग सोडा क्या होता है सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इट्स ऑल्सो बेसिक सब्सटेंस टर्मेरिक आपका एक इंडिकेटर है एक एसिड बेस इंडिकेटर है जो एसिडिक और न्यूट्रल मीडियम में येलो रहता है बेस में रेड हो जाता है सो देर यू गो विद दिस वी आर डन विद ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन ऑफ एसिड बेसिस एंड सोल्स कितने बच्चों के इलेवन ऑन इलेवन आए हैं क्विकली इन द चैट 
11 on 11 or what's your score? Let's say 9 on 11, 10 on 11. What's your score? Fada fad batayenge. Yeah, such cute questions. If you know the colors, I, I'm sure you would have got above 8 for sure. Are everybody saying me? Everybody's got more than 8. 11 on 11, kitte sare bachcho kya? 10 kitte sare bachcho kya? Awesome, very well done. Maza aya? Confidence bada acid basis karne ke baad? Chaliye. Let's move on to the next chapter now. Physical and chemical changes. Are you ready for this one? Physical and chemical changes. Ye bhi bahut pyara sa aya hai. Bahut cute sa aya hai. Kare, start kare. Chalo, all the best. Question number one, physical and chemical changes. Which of the following is a physical change? Rusting of iron, combustion of magnesium ribbon, burning of candle, melting of wax. In this physical change kaun sa hai? Aapko ye batana hai. You all know what physical changes are, ha na? Aap sabko pata hai physical changes kya hote hai? You don't like this chapter, koi baat nahi. Bohat aasaan hai ye. Option D, very good. See, when we say physical change, we mean that no new substance should be formed. Rusting of iron mein kya hota hai? Iron jo hai, wo iron oxide, Fe2O3.xH2O mein convert ho jata hai. Naya substance hai, rust ban gaya. It's a chemical change. Next kya hai aapka? Combustion of magnesium. Matlab magnesium ko jab oxygen ki presence mein aap burn karte ho, to magnesium oxide ban jata hai. Another new substance that is being formed. Burning of candle is both physical chemical change. Khali chemical change kaun sa hai? Melting of wax. Solid wax to liquid wax. But it's still wax. No new substance is being formed. So that's a physical change. Ma'am, when this session will finish? In another 20 minutes. 15-20 minutes. Question number 2. Which of the following is a chemical change? Now out of all these, twinkling of stars, cooking of vegetables, cutting of fruits, boiling of water, Aapko batana hai, in sub me se chemical change. That means a new substance needs to be formed here. Yes, Renu, that is acidic. Because that's similar to lemon juice. Okay? Very good, very good, all of you. It's option B. Cooking of vegetables. Deko, raw to cooked ja raha hai. Hana, naya substance ban raha, so that is a chemical change good cutting of fruits mein there are still fruits nothing new is formed boiling of water boiling of water mein kya ho raha liquid se vapor form mein ja raha but it's still h2 no new substance is being formed twinkling of stars it's more of an optical phenomena ha na physical chemical mein usko zyada nahi bolenge optical phenomena hai par agar bolna hi hai agar refraction ke context mein bolna bhi hai tab bhi hum physical bolenge theek hai so correct answer is going to be this Chale. Moving on to question number 3. Now, question number 3 everyone. Let's see what the question says. A chemical change may involve change in color only, change in temperature only, evolution of gas, any of the above. Kya hone wala hai? Bataye. Chemical change mein in charo mein se what is going to happen? Everybody is saying option D. Kuch bhi ho sakta hai. D, 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 all of the above, all of the above. Sure ho? Lock kar den. Are you all sure? Very good. It is actually all of the above. Dekhte hai kaise? Look, rusting ke abhi baat kari, color change ho raha tha na, bilkul ho raha tha and it was a chemical change. Change in temperature, neutralization, I told you heat is released, photosynthesis hoga, heat is absorbed. Kuch na kuch heat change aata hai hai. Evolution of gas, let's say zinc ka reaction aapne sulfuric acid ke saath kara diya. To kya ban jayega? Zinc sulfate aur hydrogen gas release ho gai. Gas evolve kar rahi hai. Ya just burst crackers, that's a chemical change and you'll see a lot of gases coming out. Hana? Yeah, apple also color change happens. Kushi, correct. So, all of the above. Question number four. Which of the following is our true when milk changes into curd? A milk curd may change. Ho hai. Its state is changed from liquid 
to semi solid it changes color it changes taste the change cannot be reversed kya lagta hai kya hone wala hai correct एनी और ऑल देखो जरूरी नहीं कि हर रिएक्शन में ऑल होगा सो so, इनमें से कुछ एक भी सही हो सकता है और इट वुड बी कॉम्बिनेशन इसका मतलब है एनी एंड ऑल अच्छा इसमें एवरीबडी सी फोर्थ में ऑप्शन सी वेरी गुड मिल्क को आप कर्ड में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हो तो आपको ट्रू स्टेटमेंट्स बताने इट्स चेंज फ्रॉम लिक्विड टू सेमी सॉलिड बिल्कुल सही बात है मिल्क लिक्विड है कर्ड सेमी सॉलिड है वेट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू वेन मिल्क चेंजेस इन टू कर्ड मिल्क को हम कर्ड में चेंज कर रहे हैं तो एक्चुअली में क्या चेंज हो रहा है इट्स चेंज फ्रॉम लिक्विड टू सेमी सॉलिड इट चेंजेस कलर इट चेंजेस टेस्ट द चेंज कैन नॉट बी रिवर्स अब ध्यान से एक बार देखो इसमें नीचे आपको ऑप्शन गिवन है डोंट स्टार्ट मार्किंग फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री फोर हेयर यू हैव गॉट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम बिलो उसके बेसिस पे आपको बताना है कि करेक्ट आंसर क्या है नाउ ट्राई दिस आउट ठीक है इट चेंजेस स्टेट बिल्कुल सही बात है तो मतलब फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट तो सही है इट चेंजेस कलर व्हाइट का व्हाइट रहता है कलर तो चेंज होता नहीं है इट चेंजेस टेस्ट यस कर्ट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी मोर एसिडिक एज कंपेयर टू मिल्क चेंज के नॉट बी रिवर्स करेक्ट सो वन थ्री एंड फोर आर करेक्ट अब देखते हैं कौन से ऑप्शन में ये है वन थ्री फोर दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन सी हैव यू अंडरस्टूड कैन इट बी रिवर्स नो बेटा इट के नॉट बी रिवर्स कर्ड से आप वापस मिल्क में नहीं आ सकते ओके क्लियर सो ऑप्शन सी इज गोइंग टू बी द करेक्ट आंसर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सम ऑफ यू स्टार्ट मार्किंग फ्रॉम हेयर जो वन टू थ्री फोर है वहां से मत करना द वन हु आर सेंग थर्ड इज करेक्ट बेटा आपको नीचे कॉम्बिनेशन गिवन है ओके चलिए मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अच्छा अब क्वेश्चन फाइव थोड़ा ध्यान से देखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि द स्क्रीन इज स्प्लिटिंग यर अ मैन पेंटेड हिज मेन गेट मेड ऑफ आयरन टू डू वॉट टू प्रिवेंट इट फ्रॉम रस्टिंग टू प्रोटेक्ट इट फ्रॉम सन टू मेक इट लुक ब्यूटिफुल टू मेक इट डस्ट फ्री पहले तो इन चारों में से मुझे बताओ स्टेटमेंट्स कौन कौन सी सही हैं वन टू थ्री फोर में से फिर ऑप्शंस बाद में देखेंगे वन टू थ्री फोर में से स्टेटमेंट्स कौन कौन सी सही लग रही है आपको तुम्हें ऑप्शन डी दिख भी रहा है एवरीबडी वो सिंग ऑप्शन डी इन द चैट फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट बिल्कुल ट्रस्टिंग से प्रिवेंट हो जाएगा करेक्ट सन की प्रोटेक्शन नहीं हो रही उससे ठीक है To make it look beautiful, बिल्कुल beautify करने के लिए है Dust तो उस पर भी आ जाएगा Paint के ऊपर भी आ जाएगा So first and third statements are correct. Now let's look at the options. First and third. First and third is coming here. Option D. Okay? Is this clear to all of you? Yes, first and third are correct. Okay? चलिए So option D is the correct answer. Moving on to question number सिक्स now. Iron pillar pillar near the Qutub Minar in Delhi is famous for the following facts. Which of these facts is responsible for its long stability? अच्छा ये चारों facts जो given है ना iron pillar इन सबके लिए famous है but आपको reason देना है stability का It's more than seven meters high. It weighs about six thousand kg. It was built more than sixteen hundred years ago. It has not rusted after such a long period of time. Very good. Option D. You are doing very rapidly. Answer, Karu, everyone. Correct. Now, its composition is such. It's made of wrought iron. Such composition is such. A protective, si, passive, si layer comes. In fact, it has a little bit of phosphorus in it. Okay. तो उसकी कॉम्पोजिशन ऐसी बनी हुई है दैट इट हैज नॉट रस्टेड दैट इज द रीजन फॉर इट्स स्टेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन कैलनाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस यूज्ड टू प्रिवेंट 
the rusting of which of the following? Iron, zinc, aluminium, copper. Bataye. Galvanization is a process used to prevent the rusting of which of the following? Kiski rusting prevent over here? E or B may confuse over I knew for this question you people will get confused. Mostly students are saying A, some of you are saying B. They have galvanization mein kya hota hai? zinc on iron objects. Zinc ki coating ha a gai iron pe. Hum protect ki se kar rahe hain? Hum protect ki se kar rahe hain? Protect to iron ko kar rahe hain na? To hum kis ki rusting? Rusting waise bhi iron ki context mein use hota hai. So we are preventing the rusting of which of the following? Iron. So seventh ka correct answer kya hua? Option A. Thik hai? This is for grade 7 Rashi. The ones who are saying B, I thought, I mean, I think what you've done over here is that uh, you must have thought that galvanization may cause some metal involved. That is zinc. But, ye push rahe, kis ki rusting prevent ho rahe, wo to iron ki ho rahe, na? Chaliye. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 8. Paheli's mother made a concentrated sugar syrup by dissolving sugar in hot water. On cooling, crystals of sugar got separated. This indicates what? Is it a physical or a chemical change? Can be reversed, cannot be reversed. Crystallization ki baat ho rahi hai. Kya ho jayega? Ma'am, when, when it... Will it end? Sony! We are doing physical chemical changes, then just one more chapter and we'll end it. Another 10 minutes. Okay? Option A, everybody is saying. Very good. Very good, all of you. It's a physical change. Crystallization is a physical change. We started with copper sulfate and eventually, let it be a copper sulfate, let it be sugar, let it be any of the substance. When we talk crystallization, if you start with copper sulfate ki crystallization, then you start with sugar, then you start with sugar, then you start with sugar. Finally, you will get who will crystals here? You will get the sugar here. In your book, there is copper sulfate given. So, you will start with that, then finally you will get it. So, no new substance is being formed. That means it's a physical change. And of course, it can be reversed. Just add water. So, here is sugar. You have put it in water. You have put it in water. When you put it in water, or dissolve nahi hota wa dikhra. Then you allow it to cool. Then you get crystals of sugar. If you add water again, again you will get a sugar solution. Okay? Yeah, no new substance is formed. Kushi. No beta, no new substance is formed na? Kuldeep, jis mein ek reactant hai, wo bhoat saare multiple products mein change ho jata hai. Okay, what is the physical change in which no new substance is being formed? Chalye, question number 9. Which of the following statement is correct for a chemical reaction? Heat may be given out but never absorbed. Sound may be produced. Color change may take place. A gas may be involved. Incorrect, tell me in the 9th question. Mein. Incorrect, which Incorrect concept. Let's see. I know, beta, you're too much late. Just 10 more minutes, okay? Gamecraft, at this point of time, you can skip that one. Very good. Very good. It's option A. Some of you are saying C. Most of you are saying A. Incorrect. Pehle dekhte hai, baaki kyo correct hai. Sound produce ho sakti hai. Let's say fire crackers burn kare. Chemical change hai, this is true. Color, color change bilkul ho sakta hai. Resting mein ho raha hai. Gas may be involved. Mene zinc and aapko sulfuric acid ka example diya tha. Heat may be given out, jaysi ki neutralization mein hota hai, but never absorbed. Ye false ho gaya. Never absorbed, matlab, kabhi absorbed nahi hogi, hamesha release hogi, aisa zaruri nahi hai. If I talk about photosynthesis, there, you will notice that energy is basically being absorbed in the form of sunlight. A lot of reactions, let's say I have calcium carbonate and I want to break this. I will require heat for that. So heat can be absorbed also. Why it can't be D? Gas may be evolved because there are reactions in which gases are evolved. So this is true. You have to pick up the false one, something that is not true. Okay? What is endothermic? What is exothermic? 
Renu, endothermic means heat is absorbed. Exothermic means heat is released. Okay? Chaliye. Moving on to the 10th question. Two drops of dilute sulfuric acid were added to one gram of copper sulfate powder and then small amount of hot water was added to dissolve it in it. On cooling, beautiful blue colored crystals got separated. Step 1 and 2 are physical chemical changes. Both physical, both chemical. Acha question hai. Dhyan se padho, do changes aapko given hai. Step 1, agar aap dhyan se dekho, to usme dissolving ho hai. Step 2 mein hum kar rahe hai cooling. Now tell me step 1 and step 2. Kya hone wala hai? Everybody is saying it's option D. Beta, both chemical. Ek baat batao ye ho kya hai? Isn't this crystallization of copper sulfate? Abhi padha tha ki wo kaisa change hai? Physical change hai. Copper sulfate ko paani mein dissolve kar diya. Hai toh wo abhi bhi copper sulfate. That means dissolving is a physical change. Now, this solution you've left for some time. And you are allowing it to cool down. So cooling is happening. So you will get crystals of copper sulphate. This is also physical change. So both are physical changes. Can I say that correct answer is option C? Have you understood why it's option C? When you dissolve it's still copper sulphate. When you cool it down you will get crystals of copper sulphate. No new substance is being formed. Hana? So correct answer kya ho gaya? Option C. Alright, so with this, we are done with this chapter as well. How many of you got above 7 out of 10? Give me a quick thumbs up if you got above 7. Sony, beta, pehle aapne copper sulfate ko paani mein dissolve kiya. Jab aapne usko paani mein dissolve kiya, to copper sulfate ka ek solution ban gaya. Thik hai? But koi naya substance nahi bana. Ab jitna copper sulfate dissolve ho sakta tha hua, you've left it to cool down now. Pehle hot water mein dissolve karke, aapne chhod diya usse. Cool down hone ke liye diya. Now crystals of copper sulfate will come out. Again no new substance is being formed. So both are physical changes. 10 on 10. Rashi fixed structure hota hai. Fixed three dimensional structure. Neutralization is a chemical change. Okay. Didn't calculate. Koi baat nahi. Mostly people are saying 10 on 10. 7 on 10. 8. 10, 10, 10. Are wa. Awesome, chaliye. Let's move on to the third chapter. Waste water story. Bohat hi asaan sa, bohat hi cute sa chapter hai. Iske questions ab hum solve karte hai. Bohat hi zada direct or easy questions hai. Ye to rapid fire mein bhi aap asaani se kar loge. Bohat asaani se. Thik hai? Rusting of iron ka formula kya hoga? Beta, rust jo banegi. This is your iron. I hope you can see the screen. Ka reaction oxygen se hua aur water se hua. To rust ban jata hai Fe2O3 dot XH2O. Agar aap Fe2O3 bhi likho ga, you will get marks. This dot XH2O basically means that the amount of water is not fixed here. Not in your syllabus but my, my suggestion is still try this out. Kyuki bohat direct and easy questions hai. Thank you Renu. Ayana still try it out. Okay? Let's get started. Start karte hain. Sabse pehle, question number one everyone. Which of the following is waste water? Water trickling from a damaged tap, water coming out of a shower, water flowing in a river, water coming out of a laundry. This is a simple question. Nahi ho sakta tha kuch. Acetic acid, Manvi, CH3COOH. Okay, Kartiki. Very good option D. Correct. Achha, water trickling from a damaged tap. Ek tap tha, that's damaged, that's leaking. But the water coming out of it is clean water, no? This is clean. Water coming out of a shard. They are not saying ki shard ke baad soap se mix ho gaya hai, fir drain se ja raha hai, ab wo paani kaisa hai. Shard se jo paani gir raha hai, wo to safi hai. Clean. Water flowing in a river. Let's say there are no impurities in it. Clean. 
But water coming out of a laundry will have soaps and detergents and a lot of chemicals and that's going to be waste water. Thank you Gamecraft. Thank you Subesh. Chalye, question number 2. Sewage is mainly liquid waste, solid waste, gaseous waste, mixture of solid and gas. Question number 2 everyone. Ma'am is salt acidic basic or neutral? Methyl salt can be acidic also, it can be neutral also, it can be basic also depending upon which acid base you are taking. In crystallization no new substance is formed beta. Chali, question number 2. Very good. It's option A. Sewage is majorly liquid waste. Sewage mein, it's basically waste water. हो सकता है उसमें कुछ dissolved impurities हो, हो सकता है कुछ suspended impurities हो, but majorly वो क्या है? एक liquid waste है. Good. Moving on to the third question now. Which of the following is our products of waste water treatment? Biogas, sludge, both biogas and sludge, aviator. चलिए, बताएंगे अब. It is very simple. Ma'am, when will we get break? Beta, in 5 minutes, you will solve all questions only. Some of you are saying option C. Some of you are saying B. B or C, what is going to be the correct answer? Manvi, correct. That is also present in sewage. But majorly, which is flowing waste water, we call it sewage. Of course, there are solid impurities. Okay? Very good. It's going to be both biogas and sludge. Because sludge is semi-solid, so it's just settled down in the waste treatment. This sludge is the sludge. It enhances the soil health. Ko. Biogas is anaerobic digestion. It's very important. Majorly, it's methane, hoga, carbon dioxide, hoga, thoda sa nitrogen. This fuel is used. चाहे आप हीटिंग के लिए यूज करो या इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए करो तो बायोगैस लज दोनों ही फॉर्म हो रहे हैं सो करेक्ट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन सी ठीक है बायोगैस बेटा फ्यूल की तरह यूज हो रहा है गेमक्राफ्ट ठीक है उसमें मीथेन है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है मेजरली यस रेनू करेक्ट एंड गुड चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 अरे बहुत ही टफ क्वेश्चन है मुझे नहीं लगता आप लोग कर पाओगे Open drain system is a breeding place for which of the following? Flies, mosquitoes, organisms which cause diseases, all of these. Batao. Physics kaha gaya? Physics ho gaya beta? Physics ho chuka hai. Chalo, question number four. Mai na ye thoda sarcasm mein bol rahi thi ki tough hai, bhoat easy hai. Why are we getting mix of answers for this one? B कौन कह रहा है? खाली B अच्छा चलो B ठीक है but D देखो ना all of these now we are seeing very good option D सारे के सारे that's why we would want the drains to be closed माना तभी हम चाहेंगे drains क्या हो closed हो all right option D was the correct answer question number five everyone again seems like very tough question let's see Water polluted by various human activities causes a number of waterborne diseases. Which of the following is not a waterborne disease? Cholera, typhoid, asthma, dysentery. In me se waterborne disease kaun si nahi hai? Goku ek tarike ka fuel hai. <laughs> Very hard. 7 crore ka question. Very good all of you asthma. Look, cholera, typhoid, dysentery. Three of them are waterborne diseases. Asthma is polluted air. Se ho Allergies develop. Ho jati hai. See, such easy peasy questions are there. Very good. Chalye. Moving on to question number 6 now. Pick from the following one chemical used to disinfect water. Chlorine, washing soda, silica, coal. अब इनमें से कौन सा एक ऐसा केमिकल है जो पानी को डिसइंफेक्ट करने के लिए यूज हो रहा है जितांश 5 मोर मिनट्स बेटा वेरी गुड मानवी अश्विनी लेंस से आज वेरी गुड इट्स क्लोरीन ऑल ऑफ यू बिल्कुल सही बात है 
क्लोरीन जो है वो डिस्ट्रॉय और रिमूव कर देता है माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स को बैक्टीरिया वायरस जो भी प्रेजेंट है वेरी गुड वॉशिंग सोडा मेजरली वॉशिंग में यूज होता है क्या होता है ये सोडियम कार्बोनेट हाइड्रेटेड फॉर्म में सिलिका सिलिकन डाइऑक्साइड ग्लास बनाने में काम आता है कोल हमें पता है मेजरली इसमें कार्बन है बहुत चीजों के लिए यूज होता है टू बिगिन विथ फ्यूल ले सकते हो ठीक है सो करेक्ट आंसर वॉज क्लोरिन क्वेश्चन सेवन द सिस्टम ऑफ अ नेटवर्क ऑफ पाइप अब ये ध्यान से करना मैं इस पर स्टार लगा रही हूं ये अच्छे से करना ठीक है हाँ सब लोग सेवन करोड़ जीत गए आंसर करके गोकू बताया तो बेटा एक तरीके का फ्यूल बन जाता है द सिस्टम ऑफ अ नेटवर्क ऑफ पाइप यूज फॉर टेकिंग अवे वेस्ट वॉटर फ्रॉम होम्स और पब्लिक बिल्डिंग टू द ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट इज नोन एज वॉट सीवर्स सीवरेज ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम या ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट ध्यान से इस क्वेश्चन को समझेंगे बेटा ध्यान से सोचो और ध्यान से आंसर कर दो मिक्स ऑफ आंसर्स क्यों आ रहे हैं ए और डी ध्यान से देखो सिस्टम ऑफ नेटवर्क ऑफ फाइव पूछ रहे हैं मोस्ट ऑफ यूर गिविंग इन करेक्ट आंसर सब लोग ए लिख रहे हैं बेटा इसका आंसर है सीवरेज सीवर्स क्या होती है पाइप्स होती हैं ये सिस्टम ऑफ पाइप्स की बात कर रहे हैं मतलब फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन जहां पे प्रोड्यूस हुआ वेस्ट टू द पॉइंट ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट जहां पे डिस्पोजल है इस पूरे नेटवर्क को इस पूरे पाइप्स जो ये लिंक्ड साथ में है इसे हम सीवरेज कहते हैं ठीक है ट्रीटमेंट प्लान तो वो एरिया है जहां पे जाके हम फाइनली ट्रीट कर रहे हैं जहां पे डिस्पोज कर रहे हैं वेस्ट वाटर सीवर्स पाइप्स है ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम आप इन अवे कह सकते हो बट यू नो दिस कैन बी यूज इन डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्स ऑल्सो सो सीवरेज इज द करेक्ट आंसर मैम वी विल हैव मेटी क्वेज यस नॉट टू डे बट समे ठीक है सो सेवेंथ का आंसर हो गया ऑप्शन बी सीवरेज क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एवरी वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक इंप्योरिटीज ऑफ सीवेज पेस्टिसाइड्स यूरिया फॉस्फेट्स वेजिटेबल वेस्ट इन ऑर्गेनिक इंप्योरिटीज बतानी है आपको मतलब ये बेसिकली होती है कार्बन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्स नहीं होते आपके लेवल पे आप ये समझ लो जो इनऑर्गेनिक मतलब नॉन लिविंग सोर्सेस से नॉन लिविंग सोर्सेस से डिराइव है एवरीबडी सिंग फॉस्फेट्स आर यू श्योर करेक्ट फॉस्फेट्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर पेस्टिसाइड यूरिया या यूरिन वेजिटेबल वेस्ट ये सारे के सारे दे आर डिराइव फ्रॉम लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स फॉस्फेट्स जो है इनऑर्गेनिक इंप्योरिटी है गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इन अ फिल्ट्रेशन प्लांट वॉटर इज फिल्टर्ड यूजिंग लेयर्स ऑफ सैंड एंड क्ले क्ले एंड फाइन ग्रेवल सैंड एंड फाइन ग्रेवल सैंड फाइन ग्रेवल एंड मीडियम ग्रेवल बताइए यस नितिन करेक्ट गंगा ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन डी सी एंड डी में कंफ्यूज हो रहे हैं अलॉट ऑफ दिस एंग ऑप्शन डी येस गेम क्राफ्टेड कैन बी येस नव्या थैंक यू लॉजिक वर्ड देखो सैंड एंड फाइन ग्रेवल तो है भी मीडियम ग्रेवल भी हो सकता है इसमें ठीक है आपका सैंड कहीं ना कहीं अब कितना डायमीटर होगा टू मिलीमीटर तक होता है फाइन ग्रेवल टू टू फोर मिलीमीटर डायमीटर तक है मीडियम ग्रेवल फोर टू एट मिलीमीटर डायमीटर तक है अब जितने भी आपके ये यहां पे सस्पेंडेड या फिर आपका हो हेवी इंप्योरिटीज है उन्हें रिमूव करने के लिए उन्हें फिल्टर आउट करने के लिए यू कैन यूज ऑल थ्री ऑफ दम ठीक है यस एब्सोल्युटली राइट सो ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम कैन बी यूज जब आप फिल्ट्रेशन करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ऑल राइट नाउ बिफोर वी सॉल्व द लास्ट क्वेश्चन देखो मेजरली सैंड एंड फाइन ग्रेवल होता है बट यू फाइन फिल्टर जहां पर मीडियम ग्रेवल भी यूज हो रहा है सो यू हैव टू टेक दैट ऑल्सो इन टू अकाउंट ओके 
before we solve the last question can we hit 400 likes everyone this is the last question for the day you've solved i don't know how many questions physics chemistry biology itne sare questions solve kar diye can we quickly have 400 plus likes chalo fatafat se jaldi se let's quickly hit 400 plus likes i can see we are already at 384 Then we'll solve the last question, which is again a very easy, easy kind of a question. Oh, you've already liked. Good. Oh, you've just liked. Are you very good? Chaliye, ma'am. Grade six exemplar kab hoga? Samarthe this week only. You'll have grade six exemplar also. Chaliye. Question number ten. Everybody is saying a call, so called tough question. वैसे तो tough नहीं है. Which of the following is not a source of waste water? Sewers, homes, industries, hospitals. In में से waste water का source कौन सा नहीं है? Out of all the questions, I think this is the easiest of all. बताएंगे. Well done, very good. It's going to be sewer. Sewers क्या है? Pipes हैं. These pipes are used to ट्रांसपोर्ट और कैरी यू नो वेस्ट वाटर पर दे आर नॉट अ सोर्स वहां से ओरिजिनेट नहीं हो रहा है वो तो बस ट्रांसफर करने में हेल्प हो रहा है घर से वेस्ट वाटर बनता है बिल्कुल घर से कितना सारा वेस्ट वाटर जनरेट होता है इंडस्ट्री से और ज्यादा होता है हॉस्पिटल से होता है सो ऑल दीज थ्री आर रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर सर कैस्टिकली डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन हाँ सोनी करेक्ट राशि विल लेट यू नो अबाउट द मेन्टी क्वेश्चन All right, with this we are done with this chapter as well. अब आपके टेन में से क्या मार्क्स आए वेस्ट वॉटर स्टोरी में वॉट इज योर स्कोर ग्रेट सिक्स स्टूडेंट इफ यूर हियर वील हैव अ सेशन फॉर यू एज वेल डोंट वरी क्या बात है सच सच गुड रिजल्ट वेरी वेल डन ऑसम ऑसम so good to see your results so good to see your marks and so good to see your dedication jo aap itne acche se from the beginning of the session till the last minute you people were so very active so very well done as i said this hard work is not going to go wasted aapke jitna bhi aap hard work kar rahe ho uska result aapko definitely milega so all these long hours that you putting in don't worry bahut acche marks aayenge keep working hard this way we'll be back with another amazing session for all of you thank you so much for joining in and as we keep telling you we got you covered so thank you for joining in comment section mein bata ke jana ye session kaisa laga agar acha laga so we'll cover more example questions for all of you so do let us know how did you find the session take care keep smiling i'll see you super soon bye bye